Yeah. Before you start, I'd suggest you introduce the people that are involved in this debate and who they are. Well, I don't know who's involved and who's not, so go ahead, boys. Uh, everyone in here. So Crush is, Crush is an official developer who balances the combat and also does the animations. Cryptos is a top-tier comp player. Double's a top-tier comp player. Frank's a top-tier comp player. Um, I'm a top-tier comp player. Jimmy's a top-tier comp player. Moosey's a top-tier comp player. Psycho Pete's a nobody. Red Crab's just some cynical bastard that no one likes. Um, and then you got Stouty. All right, so go on, Stouty. Right, so... Do you guys agree with the principle that for every mechanic that's in the game, uh, there needs to be like a justifi justification of why it's there? Yeah. Right. So the ball's in your court. Justify health regen in last team standing. Okay, so in LTS, let's say I'm having a 2v2, right? So I'm, I'm 2v2ing with Jimmy, uh, and I'm against Double and Frank, right? Jimmy's a really sick player, but he's not quite as good as Double and Frank. So let's say the 2v2 splits into two 1v1s, um, I kill double, right? But because double is fucking hard for me to kill, it's 90% certain that I won't finish that duel on full HP. Right. Uh, Jimmy's not going to hold up against Frank. No offense, Jimmy. Um, mm. So Frank's going to kill Jimmy, like, and he's probably going to have full HP. I can't regen now when Frank starts running at me, so I have to then have to fight Frank with low HP, and that's pretty much a, a lost fight for me almost every single time. If I have to fight Frank with one HP, because he can just play every card just to take the piss out of my one HP, essentially. So that's one. That's one example going off two v twos of where it won't work. Wait. So your point is, if you finish your duel, if both duels finish at the same time, you're saying you can't make the clutch if you are on twenty six HP. Yeah, I because I then have to fight Frank, who's on full HP, and I have one HP. But you can still beat Frank on twenty six HP. Yeah, but it's way less likely, man. It's it's like it, I, it pretty much wouldn't happen. Wait, who who is it that you killed anyway to get put down to twenty six? Double, right? Double. So let let's say let's say I'm not saying I am, but let's say I'm slightly better than Double or Frank, right? Um, that now my skill is now nullified because I'm not allowed to HP regen. But if you were like super high skill, you wouldn't have taken the damage in the first place, right? Yeah, but realistically, we know that's not going to happen because there's no way I can. It can happen. You can win George flawlessly for sure. Yeah, I know, but it's just an it's just the unlikely scenario, man. It's just not going to happen. Like realistically, how many times is Frank going to kill Jimmy without losing HP? How many times am I going to kill Frank without losing HP? There's just a limit to it. Yeah, well, if it if it ends exactly the same time, then it's it just turns into a duel, basically. And to be honest, health regen and duels, it's like that's not really the biggest uh, egregious use of health regen because like that's kind of whatever. If people want to delay the fight and go for a full regen, you know, they're skilled okay, to it and everything, but. That's not like the big, the big issue. Right, so but in, in that the... particular instance, it's not that terrible. But I'd still say you, you're negating like the effort of the other player that's died by um, if you both decide to regen. Because like those two players, basically, it doesn't matter how much damage was dealt because everything just gets reset. I'm not sure if that's exactly a good thing. In fact, you know, I'd say it's I, probably the opposite. I, I I personally don't think it's a good thing. But there there are other instances. What about viewership? Like... So, for example. At the end of that fight, people have to like sit around for like twenty seconds, thirty seconds. It's a bit it's like it's, it's, it's gonna make it dull for the stream basically, and like for the casters as well. Not not necessarily because there there's times where it's like it's it's fine to have uptime and downtime. If you look at CS:GO comp for example, there's a shit ton of downtime in CS:GO comp where absolutely nothing's happened. If there's just shit going on all the time, it's actually bad for spectatorship. It's fine to have. Little well, you can have it in between fight. rounds still, but uh, yeah, that, in that exact example, yeah, that's not the worst case i'll admit yeah because then the casters can quickly just analyze what just happened in the fight um and then like you so know, do you not think that those two players that died that their impact should be uh felt on the round itself no i don't think so i think once you if you in a 2v2 it splits off into two duels, two duels. if you lost your duel you, you fucking lost your duel man you because otherwise it would enable like imagine some really cancerous rat player who plays like rapier and like you just you will guarantee take some damage off him do you know what I mean? He just wraps away your health for no reason. Like, how cancer is that when he shouldn't be able to? Like, he'll just do some unreadable feint on you or something that you force the gamble. Do you know what I mean? There's just so much potential cheese involved, um, which I, I find that regen nullifies. And another... Okay, yeah, yeah. But isn't that an argument against rapier and unreadable stabs as opposed to health regen? The un unreadability will always be an aspect of melee slasher because if everything was readable, we'd never bypass each other's parries and then we'd basically just play Mountain Blade and Stam Drain Simulator. It's just always going to happen, man. 
It'll always be the case. If a weapon like Rapier wasn't like nigh impossible to read, it, it wouldn't even be usable. I mean, it's barely usable now, and it's fucking almost impossible to read. Like you, you've played against Fandalf, haven't you, Stouty? In that shield patch. Yeah, like, but that was, that was, was only broken because of shield, not because of. Well, Rapier was nasty as well for sure. But again, that's not an argument against Regen. That's an argument against Rapier and unreadable animations. I'd argue that no unreadable animation should be in the game, or at least I, none I as blatant think... as Rapier anyway. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think anything should be. One hundred is useless if they didn't have unreadable animations. No one would I, use them at all. I wouldn't say it's completely unreadable because I could read a lot, but there are, there is some shit which is nigh unreadable. Like it's so hard to read. But you know, you know that weapons nigh impossible to read, Stouty. Um, sometimes you know, in the in the correct like, if the scenario is correct, like if he's face hugging, he does a morph faint. It's like pretty much impossible to read. But if the rapier wasn't like that, there would no there would be no way to make it viable, man. It'd just be fucking dog shit. That's just the nature of melee slasher. If if your weapon can't kill people, it's fucking useless. And straight up, that's how it is. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get caught up in the rapier argument. To be honest, it's kind of like I don't know. It feels like besides the point. But, um... it, what, no, no. The, so, the, so the way how that links into the argument is because what happens is, is like it just takes some guy who's not on the same skill level as me to use a cancer weapon, which do exist in the game. They will always exist in the game. They'll use some cancer like rapier to do like a little bit of damage to me, and then I'm not able to regen that damage. Well, even get you don't need low. to regen everything. You get health on kill anyway, so that's sort of already uh, considered with health on kill. Like you're not going in completely one HP, are you? Yeah, but it's just it's still not enough, man. H HP on it, kill it should be enough. It. You can still win like on one HP if you play perfectly. You play well. Yeah, but then what if the, that means the other guy doesn't have to play perfectly? Do you know what I mean? Well, and it's not fair well, that way. That's his. That's your teammate's fault for not dealing damage. Yeah, but and then but then you're reducing the mechanical skill of the game and making it more team based, which goes against the core of melee slasher, where this game is supposed to promote raw mechanical. Like it's not Dota, it's not Dota, it's not Overwatch, it's not CS:GO. Which these games require so much team play. The whole point of melee slasher, and it always has been, and like the dream of Mordau is to to empower the player to make the player have. The ability to just be absolutely sick and push the skill ceiling. That's like. Well, I'd agree, but then we get into the one VX issue, which is where you know health regen sort of like rears its ugly head. I I agree. I agree here, right? So, it, it, there is a really big problem. Uh, we know it very well. We do it. We last night when we did two v two stout, we do it where it's like you jewel Bob, and then I get low, and then I just go regen, and then you jewel him. Yeah, that's the matter. Right? Yeah, I agree. I I think that's not good at all, right? And me and Cross have spoke about this a lot. And the issue here is, is because, right, why was this not an issue in Shiv? It, well, we didn't do LTS much in Shiv, but I, I do remember, like, walking across more occasionally to go for the full regen, but it's just, it annoys your teammate when you do that. But that might be, yeah. in some situations, depending on who your teammate is, that might be the correct move. If you know you're going to win the duel hands down 100%, that could agreed, still be the correct move. Right. Yeah, yeah so, so you're right. It, it did happen in Shiv, but why did it not happen on the same extent that happens in Mortal? Because we played TO most of the time, and of course, like, health regen takes longer. Because the chamber window is so fucking big, and you can literally just survive forever just by spam chambering and take yeah. the powering out. There we go. And then, so, and then Shiv, all some guy has to do is scroll up and press Q, and you'll kill someone who is exactly. A, it could be better than you. They even have to be like worse than you. Exactly. So, so the the point that I was gonna make there, which Frank just made, Stouty, is that the problem is with um, Mordhal is that the meta is based around attrition right now. So what happens is it's really easy to maintain a ridiculously powerful defense by just chambering in Shiv. If you left your teammate to 1v1, that guy could just pull out some absolutely bullshit feint out his ass and just 50-50 the guy that you just left the 1v1. It's, it, so you couldn't leave him to 1v1. You'd be forced to help. So the, the issue here is not because of health regen. It's the fact that when Bob is left to 1v1, you're not afraid that I'm going to die. And I'm not afraid that you're going to die because I know that if you can chamber and I can chamber, none of us are going to die. And the more feints are so shit. They get double parried like 90% of the time. It's just to do with the fact that the meta is based around attrition. People are way too hard to kill. Once you get good at this game, you fucking way too hard to kill. I find players who I consider lesser lesser than me, comp players lesser than me, I find they take far too long to kill. And that's where the issue is. It's not health regen. Health regen is the symptom, not the cause. If it was like Shiv, where you could just fuck the guy who you won't be wanting and his teammate like watches like a cut, then then yeah, that would be that would be the solution. But I don't think removing health regen is a solution. It it oh well, like we're not we're not just gonna get rid of chamber there, are we? Like that's not gonna happen. So agreed, it, agreed. health regen would be like a much more uh like I, realistic I, I understand way what you're to saying. sorry, go on, sorry, go on. Yeah, that's it. Health regen, getting rid of that, that's realistic. Getting rid of chamber, 
that's not going to happen. I I completely I I completely see where you're coming from. Um, I think health regen does tackle that specific instance of this rotating thing, which is kind of bullshit. Like rotating in a two v one, like rotating people to duel. I think that's bullshit, and I think it's a fucking filthy strategy. Um, however, I think that it brings a lot of issues as well. When you remove health regen, you'll bring in a ton of issues, so you won't be able. I to honestly, I honestly can't see any like. Well, the only thing that people bring up a lot is projectiles and archery, but that doesn't see any use right now in 2v2. Like, it's just unrealistic. And if it in was 2v2, a big issue, you could just remove it, like, honestly, because it's seeing no use now. So if it in, does see use, it does make a difference if you get rid of it, because it's seeing no use right now. That makes sense. We literally scrim, then we just true That's 5v5. Yeah, 5v5 is different, but for 2v2, 3v3 you might get away with some jabs, but I don't think anyone in 2v2 is going to get hit by shit, because everyone's... Like, there's no one to really, like, uh, bait you or anything. If you, if all five people are throwing jabs in there, you might take a hit, but if two, it's not going to happen. I understand what you're saying, Stout, but like I said, I tackled 2v2 right at the start, so if I'm 2v2 and with Jimmy, and then I have to 2v2 against Dublin Frank, like, my partner is going to die, so even if I'm better than Dublin Frank, I then have to tackle Frank or Double when I'm on low HP. And yeah, but if if win. you if uh, one of the guys that you're fighting, if one of them comes in on low HP, you're more likely to win that two v one than you are. Yeah, it's not going to happen because my teammate's weaker. So the, the so your teammate's so weak, he's not going to land one hit. I, I feel I feel it's like a complete um, like you that that's the teammate's fault at that point. That's yeah, like a kind of like learn to play for the teammate. Let's say he does land one hit. It's just then you've got be... like an easier two v one ahead of you because then it's like a two hit meta rate. So all you need to do is get lucky if one hit and tap him, and then you've got like a one v one on your hands which you can easily clutch. It's not. It's not two hit meta right now. And, and no, it, it, I mean, war axe is yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Let's say Jimmy plays war axe. Okay, he gets one hit on Frank, and then Frank kills Jimmy. Now Frank's on eighty HP, and let's say I Frank double, and I'm on tw I'm on like twenty HP. I get to fifty HP. Then it's eighty versus fifty, and I'm one hit, and Frank's two hit, and that's just much less likely for me to win. Whereas if we could both regen, then I've got a fair, completely fair chance against Frank. It's a complete one on one equality. Equality. However, because in your scenario, where there's no health regen, because my teammate's weaker, I now suffer because of the... Well, you get the health on kill as well, so you both got health on kill. So it's fairly fair at that point for both of you. No, but Frank's always going to have more HP than me because his opponent's weaker. Not always. You can't like 100% say it's 100% going to be on this HP. That's the thing. If, with The only time you get 100% HP is with health regen, when like it's pretty much always going to be 100% 100 HP. With, uh, without regen, you get like these more yeah. unique scenarios. 100% absolutely not, okay? However, the f likelihood of Jimmy winning a 1v1 against Frank is much less than vice versa, so then... Well, I, I mean, this whole argument, like, comes down to, like, if your teammate's shit, you're more likely to lose, which is going to be the case with or without health regen. Exactly. Uh, yeah, but you don't have upset potential. <laughs> like, we're using Jimmy as well for, like, the shit teammate analogy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, yeah, I was just using Jimmy as a meme. Jim, Jimmy's just, like, start you recording this, aren't you? Yeah, it's streamed, yeah. Yeah, yeah J Jimmy's a top tier player. I'm just using Jimmy as a meme, because it's just a meme. Top five. Talking. Yeah, top five. Right, okay. So, so uh, let's just get to like the meat of it. So, what, how are you going to deal with the one VX thing? Okay. So the the issue is, uh, so it's it's difficult. Yeah, as you've you've pointed out as well, Stouty. The problem comes down to chambers. Chambers add a lot to the game, but they also make it hard to balance because defense can be buffered so hard by chambers. So right now, um, we spoke about it yesterday briefly when we were TV two in. The meta right now is far too geared towards swing manipulation because feints are too weak. Yeah. So there need there needs to be buffs to faint. So the ones I suggested was I right right now stout. I personally think combo faints are absolutely dog shit. I think they need a buff. Yeah. Because I agree. that way you can you can take people down way faster with combo faints, especially when you've got something like war axe. I, I think it's fine. Uh, and it forces more hard reading as well. Um so that's another one. I think faint recovery is a bit overtuned right now. Faints are a little bit too weak. Um, you know, like like Mesa, for example. So yeah. Shit, man. The but even if you buff feints, chambers are still going to be there. So I don't know. They, What's they, the solution? Yeah, they will still still be there. However, the risk of fainting, the risk of fainting right now, it's not just to do with chambers. You, you risk being double parried as well. And most people just like fucking passive read feints. Like think in Shiv, when you wanted to read a feint against a good player, you literally had to glue your fucking eyes to the screen and literally tell the difference between frame eight and frame. Well, nine. that's just because Shiv was unreadable as well. So that, Shiv had that going for it. Agreed. So I, I think I think Shiv was far too unreadable, but I currently think Mordhau is too readable, and I think it's a very fine tune of balance. Um, and I and personally, I think that comes down to the faint recovery. The faint windows are big enough, but the problem is that if you do a big enough faint, you can't punish off of it. Mordhau so is just fifty-fifty readable, by the way. Like you can say it's readable, but at the end of the day. 
if someone knows how to just sling like fling the stab around it's yeah that's true as well actually I, if you if you and, vacuum and, test and wait one yeah. more thing um a normal attack in more power is readable a combo feint is readable like a normal feint is readable but like if you know how to repost properly and just break the animation, it's completely unreadable again. Yeah, yeah. So, so that that's another issue for balance where I think the the repost is hard to deal with when when swing manipulated. I don't know what it is exactly about the repost, but a repost drag is way more dangerous than the neutral drag. It's um, just different like animations. Of, it's different animation. The wind up's covered by half of the parry animation, and the repost has less early release, which means that you end up with a bigger release on the repost. There's a lot of different factors. Uh, I agree with what you're saying, Frank, that right now it's a swing manipulation meta, and that's why I think feints need to be more powerful, because, and as well, the game looks healthier if it's more about clear-cut axels and feints, but yeah, the issue is, right, is that right now feints are so shit that it just, it, right, so, like you said, Frank, yeah, it's 50-50 readable, a lot of shit, okay, right, you might find, you might say that a lot of shit in Mordow is way harder to read, I agree there's a lot of shit in Mordow that's way harder to read, but at the end of the day, is it easier to consistently stay alive in Shiv or is it easier to consistently stay alive in Mordal? And I think we both know the answer to that. I find that if I want to stay alive in Mordal, I can literally stay alive forever in a 1v1 unless it's um, unless I'm in a 2v1. In a 2v1, it's very hard to stay alive. But like, What you if, have if to you... do is, is you have to go dual without chambers and then you'll see like how much exactly. of a it is right now. Exa exactly, yeah. It's hard to read. But with chambers, I wish Bona was here. Can someone message Bona? I'll do it. He'll literally. Wait, wait, wait. So what? What are you saying? You're saying you can read the feints without chambers? No, he's he's, he, Frank's saying that Mordal is probably harder to read than Shiv. But oh, what right. I'm saying, yeah. But the issue is, is I that think that's Mordau probably has... not true. Well, that, right. it's because the ex it's the existence of chambers in Mordal. Like we're all chambering. No, but even if you don't it. chamber, I think feints are more readable in Mordal than. I'd I'd agree with feints swing manipulation. I, th I think. Uh, no, no, swing... no. If you're playing without chambers, all you have to do is run up to someone, stab, and morph, and it's unreadable. <laughs> like it really is. Yeah, or but you, you could say the same as Sword of War. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like that's what we're saying. The chambers, like basically, like you can basically just hide behind anything by being like, "Oh, just chamber it." It's not readable, so just chamber. I mean, you, they'll get, may, they'll may, get to the point maybe where um, get so good at swim manipulation, they'll catch up, and everyone, every single attack they do will be completely unreadable. But and chambers aren't ever getting removed, right? Behind. Just yeah. It. All right. Bro, so before we before we go down this rabbit hole, yeah, uh, I agree with what you're saying. Right now, I I, I kind of agree with everything that's been said, but none of it sort of solves the issue, and we're still left with health regen being the easiest thing to like fix everything. Ag agreed. So what I think, Stouty, is that instead of tackling health regen, I think tackling health regen adds a lot of negative things. Uh, when I understand what you're trying to achieve, I think I mean what you want. It's not that many like, negative things. Like it's one. You don't get to regen occasionally. If if both people finish a duel at the same time, you don't get a regen. That's like the main negative that you've brought up. Which, at the end of the day, it's not like a massive negative. It's like a bit unfortunate, but I mean, maybe you could help it with like more health and kill or something. Like, I don't there, know. there's there's um there's other instances when when I'm in a one v two and yeah. I will walk at both enemies and they both back off. It could literally be double and Frank and they'll be backing off because it's dangerous. And I'll regen one hit. And that one hit me. Yeah, but if they're if they're backing off, right, that means they're also regening, so they're they're regening double the health that you are. So they're benefiting from that. There's yeah, one exactly. instance in the prelude, right? I so I, I, I call that like the prelude to the one VX because it's not the one VX itself, right? Because the one VX itself, you don't get to regen at all. They've got complete control of the regen. So in the prelude, usually that benefits the two as well, because the only way you get a benefit is like if you climb out the map. Like if, if say they're both full HP and you climb out the map, then you get a full regen and they get nothing. That's the only instance where like because every other instance, they're either regening themselves, which is better for them. Because if you're in a 1v2, it's way harder for you to land a hit, like a single hit, than it is for them to land a hit. So even like 20 HP that they get is going to be used more than uh, your HP rate. And uh, if they both back off, that means they're getting like double regen uh, healing. So e most of the time, even the preludes, you're uh, losing out uh, on regen. I, I understand exactly what you're saying here, Stouty. But now, so let's sort of shift it into a different perspective. Okay. Right. Uh, so I completely agree with what you just said. Let's shift it into a different perspective. Let's say it's harder to 2v1 than it is to, to 1v1 and then 1v1. Do you know what I mean? So let's say... Wait, say that again, so I missed that. Say it's harder to 2v1 than what? Yeah, yeah. so basically let's say there was something like revenge mechanic in the game which was just overpowered, right? Yeah, that'd be eight. So you wouldn't ever want a 2v1. Yeah, exactly. So you, they literally wouldn't ever want a 2v1. They'd lose out from regening. So do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean by that? So wait, that wait. means that they... They'd lose out. They'd lose out because if they let the one regen a little bit of health, 
then that one's scary now because he has bullshit revenge mechanic as well. So if he survives one hit, then he might... But couldn't you just bait the revenge mechanic and then regen and, like, just abuse that? Look, 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 look. Let's look, just leave revenge time. mechanic there's, for there's, now. Look, look, I can already just do the revenge mechanic thing. That There's literally something like that got added to battle, right? If your teammate dies, you pick up his orb and you get, basically, a move called overpower get unlocked and it's completely broken and no one wants to play the game anymore. You can ask uh, Aegir about it. I was talking to him the other day. He's got like 3k hours or something. Well, it's, right. so no one's actually uh, arguing for revenge mechanic, right? Just to be clear. Yeah. No, no, no. But the, the, the point is that the point I'm trying to make is the fact that there's a lack of 1vx mechanics in the game. 1vx is so weak because of two reasons. One, it's fucking impossible to take one guy down with any kind of speed. You literally have to take down their stamina before you take down the player. So that's the main issue. Yeah. The second, we don't even have a 1vx mechanic. Like you can't repost trade. You know, there's no, there's no yeah. overpower mechanic. We have nothing. All you've got is. But wouldn't it be party. easier to remove uh, the XV1 mechanic, aka health regen, to then rather than adding like more mechanics that, to make things more complicated? That's not the XV1 mechanic, man. It that's kind of is though, because like only the X can use it. It's not, like they're the only ones that can properly utilize it. At no point yeah, do you really ever get a say in when regen takes place in a one vx, apart from the prelude. And even then, the prelude helps uh, the enemies that the X more. Yeah, but if you remove the health regen, then you re then you still remove the skill cap. For example, in scenarios like I just gave you with Jimmy, do you know what I mean? Uh, well, in jewels, I agree that like, regen does add to the skill cap, but yeah, uh, I don't think the skill cap itself should be like the main uh, priority because you can make the time to kill like ten hits per kill. That would improve the skill cap. It wouldn't be good for the game. So not everything that improves skill is beneficial. I don't know if increasing 10 hit per kill would, would make the game It would, right, because like, a noob might get lucky once, but he's not going to get lucky 10 times, right? Yeah, but yeah. then you'd have like this, all the stamina and shit to consider. And then you'd if you just, alright, all right, if you move, make sure you scale the stamina up as well. And it's in the theory, right, it makes sense in theory. A noob can get one shot, he's not going to get 10. That's pretty accurate, right? In, in, one, in 1v1s, yeah, in 1vx, no. Yeah. In 1vx, if, if you made it 10 hit to kill, 1vx would just become impossible because the two would never make that many mistakes. Exactly. That's, that's kind of the point, right? The health regen is the same thing. I, I would, health regen I would, allows the two to make more mistakes and heal up and makes it harder. And it's going to be uh, more 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 instances where they come in at 100 HP rather than like 50 HP because they get the to regen. Is not the same though. I understand what you're saying. But again, the problem is health regen is the symptom. It's not the cause. The cause is the fact that the meta is attrition and we don't have 1vx mechanics so this whole health regen it wouldn't be a big deal because imagine if you you just go you go off the regen and then your teammate just gets fucked because he i, he I don't know if the solution is to make unreadable feints i don't know that sounds uh I, that sounds off to feints. me unreadable feints wasn't what i was saying the issue is right now is that the feints are too readable you don't have to make yeah unreadable well, I, I agree like we could uh make um double parry hard and all that i think that's definitely uh I, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't think that covers the issue substantially for me. I think there's still like the, the health regen is still going to be the best thing to do because chambers are still going to be in the game. You can still run in, like play dumb, chamber, take a hit back away. That's all going to still be there. And I think maybe uh, both uh, things we're saying here can both be right, but I don't think it's one or the other. I, I think with removing health regen, there's too many negative effects. Whereas if you. Wait, wait, sorry. Uh, don't say anything. I just need to change the volume because people can't hear you or something. Uh, my bad. Should be better now. All right, carry on. Uh, I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So I, I think health regen has uh, negative effects as a change, whereas if you were to buff um, the a, a player's power to take down other players, I think that's straight up healthier for the game. And I think if you were to buff one vx, I think that's also straight up healthier for the game. Rather than when, whereas health regen comes with negatives, and there are net positives in the scenarios that you've given, I think that if you come from a different approach, where it's like right, lesser players shouldn't be able to survive for this long, and you should have more chance to take down a player if they're sick. You know, you should have ways to outplay other players so you can take them down. And if you're fighting two players at once, you should have more tools to take down both players at once, rather than just them both having to be on low HP to make it happen. I I think that in Mordau. The balance should be in a state where I could, I have a chance to two v one. All right, I'll see your point now. Um, you can sure. more likely take both down players. And you can more likely take down both players on full HP if health regen wasn't there. Because part of the issue is they can easily just gamble. They can play super stupid, which is hard to play against. If you if you're up against two gamblers, 
super hard to deal with that. And if you get lucky once against one of the gambles, they can just back away in full regen. So that's part of the problem. Is like, uh, many times have I been fighting two full HP guys and almost run, but then the regen just completely kills it because like uh, they can just back away. Have you have you heard talks about the overpower mechanic at all, Stouty? Um, you guys mentioned it briefly just now. Okay, so I mean, it's it's something that's been talked about for a while. So, I, I think uh, there should be a mechanic like called overpower or some shit, essentially, where basically if you make multiple parries, you get like a really really powerful repost. So, like you said, when you're two v one in gamblers, yeah, it's fucking aids, right? I completely agree with you because they don't have any downside to gambling. And that's the issue in a 1vx, it's when they don't respect your initiative and they gamble you, and that's where it's bullshit. But imagine if there was like parry into parry, or like chamber FDP mechanics where it's like, oh, he's gambled me, I get a parry now, he's fed me a parry, like feeding parries as an act. I feel like it's just going to lead to like more of a missing meta. More of a missing meta? Yeah, well, intentional there's, missing. There's other, there's other things that need to be worked on. Yeah, exactly. It, like, it feels think... to me like this is going to like lead to so, so much like, uh, like the more mechanics you add, the more things you have to take into consideration, whereas you could just... Yeah, simplify the game by removing a mechanic and suddenly it's going to be a lot easier to do 1vx and the only yeah. downside is going to be like yeah, we'll end up with minecraft combat then if you remove everything man exactly i'm not i'm not advocating for everything that's just like a slippery slope but i like i said i i, I can't see the I, negatives of um health regen besides like occasionally if like someone gets an uh, unreadable hit off on you but again that feels more like a, an argument against that particular weapon or that particular animation or whatever yeah, look, I'll be I, honest. I, I, I think I think you could literally bring back. Remember the lockout where you hit someone who's in hyper armor and you can't parry, right? I think that would help. That yeah, that'd be it good. Doesn't, it, it doesn't need to be as big. First off, it was massive before. It doesn't need to be as big. It can be smaller. And also, I think missed costs should just be increased across the board. Look, even in jewels, you can just miss. The thing is, like missed costs and chamber costs, none of that really matters in a two v one when you've got like complete control well, and you can do if, what you if want. A guy, if a guy's missing you and you guess right, he still has to miss like another twelve times before you can actually like threaten him. Yeah. And and the thing is, also, this even comes back to jewels. Even in a jewel, you can literally walk up some of the longsword from like across the map. You can miss, and then your second attack, you're just going to start it inside them, and you can just hit like behind the parry if you want. You just, I, you just miss an attack. So, and just out of interest, would attack. any of you actually be willing to try uh, just doing like some 2v2s without health regen and see what it's like? Yeah, I just I, said I, it earlier. I don't mind. Yeah, Frank would. I, I personally wouldn't because I want the dev time more on like... It's not... On come on. Users. Come on. It's a fucking console command. I, I, I don't know what it, it would entail though, necessarily. Should be easy as fuck to add in. It, it might be... Yeah, I know. But from a dev, it's not... Because I'm a dev as well. Uh, sometimes this kind of shit's actually complicated. I don't, I don't know how it works because obviously I didn't write more down, but it could be a pain to implement. I have no idea. I, I might be completely wrong there. But the, the, the point right, that so I want to make... Uh, if it was easy, would you try it? Yeah, sure, I'd, I'd try it just, just for argument's sake. But the, the point that I want to make, Stout, is that I think that this issue needs to be tackled from outside the box and it needs to be more about empowering the skill cap rather than removing some things which do affect the skill cap yeah, in I agree. different ways. If, if this change is ever going to go through, it needs to be for the whole game, not just comp. You're just going to yeah. stunt the No, uh, we're basically, we, we we're don't basically... have health regen in BR. We don't have health regen in Horde. I don't see why ranked yeah, can't have like differing uh, yeah, yeah, rules. But th BR is a very specific case in the sense that... Like, well, okay, out, out of the three main modes, two of them don't have health regen. So if anything, by judging by that logic, uh, health regen is uh, turned off by well, default. Horde, Horde with, again, I think Horde's a specific case in that... Well, like, Compass is a specific case as well. Yeah, but it's not really... And last team standing comp we're, specifically. We're not playing a game mode, though. We're just, like, playing the raw game. And I think, yeah. like, changing the raw game specifically to play, like, comp in it is dangerous. 100% agreed. No, I don't think uh, you struggle killing bots as well to get the HP. Yeah, that, the point... Yeah, the reason why Horde doesn't have it is because it's just... If you could just run away from the bots when you, like, fuck up and regen, then, yeah. You have to, like, pay for it through a bandage or a medic bag. The reason yeah, BR doesn't have it is because what BR game has health regen? Oh yeah, none. Uh, the vanilla game has to say this, stay the same across the board. That is fucking fundamental. There's a lot of issues when you start changing the vanilla game like that. B BR and Horde aren't. It's the same not like a huge issue. issue. I, I think you're overplaying it. Is, it. It's, it's very, it's very different, man. Trust me, because it, it changes the way. People why? Because this will be the first time people play competitive anyway, so it's always going to be different. Like, it's not, man, because we, we've all been playing comp for like five years. Yeah, but again, the, again, the average frontline like, player hasn't, so I don't see why you, like we should expect them. The, I'm going to call this the NA problem from now on, since it's, this is already happening. If you look at that VIP channel you got invited to from Oscar, it's a joke. 
this is what this is going to come down to is it's going to be like like so we start playing comp with no health regen and then some guys like oh, i don't like uh, morphs let's just turn morphs off in comp and then and then like there'll be some big argument about that and something will change or it won't and it's going to get to the point where they'll just be like the rule council for like what people should be doing. And then you have to enforce all of those into scrims. All the mid-tier players who you never get to play with, who like use the Mod How Competitive group Discord, they now have to like somehow find out about these rules and start... Well, I'm not really petitioning for like exact rules. rules we scrim on. Ideally, this would be like for the ranked ladder itself. And then people can't really turn shit off. And if they want for, to, for they the, find they, they, the they can ladder, if they want to sorry, scrim. Sorry, but for the ranked ladder, I don't fucking want health regen turned off because if I have to carry like Forsen or some shit... Forsen's gonna be a fucking. I mean, Forsen's an insane player, but if he dies I, and I can't regen HP, then, then don't it's get hit. Fucking hard. You just don't get yeah, hit. But, yeah, but come on, man. That's that's that's. Well, you, not you, all right, if you're playing a Forsen, then you'd see the the people you're playing against are gonna be of a similar caliber, so you shouldn't then take what, a hit. What if I'm carrying him to the rank one spot because he deserves to be rank one? Then what? Well, if he doesn't deserve to be rank one, then does he? If he can't get a hit, then he doesn't deserve to be rank one. It sounds like the problem's kind of solved itself. Not really. Like, the rankings I, worked in that case. Like if you. No, no, because the whole point is that is Melee Slasher is about empowering the player. It's not Dota, it's not CSGO, it's not Overwatch, right? It's none of this team-based bullshit, right? If you're sick at the game, you're sick. The game empowers you to be sick. Never never forget these core fundamentals of Melee Slasher. I agree, like, but I, I think Hellsu Gen does the opposite, because it prevents no, 1vx. No, man, because if I'm such a powerful player, right, then I should always want to be on full HP, because that empowers me, because I'm so powerful, and it shouldn't even matter. I agree, but you that. can't... Get yourself in full HP when you're in one VX, like you can't do it. That's that's not true, man. I regen all the time. In no, no, no. When you're in the fight itself, how do you heal? When you're in the fight, agreed. But right. before the fight, I I always have. And like I said, in in the before the fight, the prelude that benefits the team more than it benefits you. Not, not net, necessarily. Net, Some, net for sure. Not necessarily because sometimes I I take the one hit, one extra hit. And I go, I go fucking both up, and I've done that many times. I've probably. But it would happen a lot up. more if they were both on one HP, or like they came in low. Not necessarily, man, because then I have one HP as well, and then what? If not necessarily. Oh, again, not necessarily. You might be full HP, and they might be low. In which case, you get like a, a yeah, that, really that's, clear that's opportunity too, to clutch. That's too niche of a scenario, though, man. That's too niche of a scenario because that uh, can go the other way as well. What if? What if I have one HP and they both have full HP? I should always be able. I should always have a chance to take on both enemies. Oh no, you wouldn't in that scenario because they'd they'd pressure you. They wouldn't let you regen unless you like somehow climbed out the map. But I don't. I don't think that's very good for like viewership. Like, regen's fast in the game. I can I can take regen. I can take at least one hit. I can take an, at least an extra hit of regen. But you're not going to beat two full HP players very often. That's that's, that's gonna that's like a two percent chance that happens. even for you. That's not a, like a like a shit talk on you. It's impossible I, I, I for everyone. Disagree. I disagree, Stouty. I think that's the wrong thinking, man. The the correct thinking should be like. The game's mechanic should be empowering me to be able to fuck up two full HP players. That you got to think. Yeah, all right. Them. You start to fuck them up, and then they just back away, and it's like, okay, my progress is being reset right I, now. I agreed. I agreed. That is the that is the current state of affairs, and that's what needs to change. And I think that needs to be handled in a different way. It needs to be handled from outside the box. Do you know what I mean? The health health regen is the symptom. It's not the cause. The cause is the attrition matter and the fact that we don't have proper one vx mechanic. That's the problem. I think it's just like fundamental uh, difference in view then, I, I don't know, because I think adding more mechanics to like count something that could be easily done with removing this one mechanic that doesn't really have like an exact purpose in the uh, LTS, I don't know. So so the, the overview is that if you remove health regen, there are negative scenarios, like you even agreed with me, some of the scenarios I gave you when there's health regen, uh, when there's no health regen are negative, didn't you? You, you agreed with some scenarios. Wait, say again, sorry, in some scenarios, health regen some benefits... Scenarios. Benefits no, no, the in some, repeat, sorry. In some scenarios, having no health regen do, can work against the player. In the one, one VX. Yeah, it's super. Uh, 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 let me let me let me fully explain it. In the prelude, it can, but overall, if you include the fight itself, the net negative of health regen is definitely in the favor of the X. Because yeah, you can maybe if they don't press you. You might, and you climb out the map or something, or you walk so far away that you somehow get like a full regen in like a two v one. That can happen, but it's, I would say that's like an exception. And but then in the fight itself, I'm fairly sure the two players would still prefer to have the option of health regen, regen even if it meant like that guy gets the full HP, because so they can still abuse health regen in the fight itself, which I think is way more powerful than uh, that one player getting a full health bar. 
that would be I'm, my I'm argument agree, to that. I'm agreeing with your hairstyle. Here. I think the fact that you can health regen in a one vx is bullshit. If you're the X against the one, you guys can cycle through health regen. I'm agreeing with you. I think that's bullshit. Right. But I don't think I don't think the way to solve that is removing health regen. I think you want to empower the players. So like it, like I said, remember what I said at the start in Shiv. Why was this not an issue? We did LTS all the time. Like you, I've done LTS with you, style. It would be very rare occurrences. I'd, I'd have to check like the old footage because honestly, I wasn't really thinking that kind of way back then. It's, it's, it might have been more of an issue than I thought. I'd, I'd have to check. It, it wasn't. An, I, I do. I, I, I do remember some standing around. To be honest, and like I feel like we should eliminate any kind of thing that draws the game on because, like I said, this game is like compared to other first-person competitive titles, it's already way longer time to kill than anything else out there. So anything that encourages like the standing around, it, you don't want to end up like Warband where it's like ten-minute draws. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not higher than Warband, definitely not. Oh no, I mean, Warband's like way, way, like it's way higher than it should be. We don't want to get even close to that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent agree. Right, but I'm telling you now, Stout here, right? Take it from me, man. I played Chivalry for five years, okay, and I know that game inside out. I even balance comp mod, right? I know the game inside out. Okay, I helped crush balance mercs mod. This health regen, it wasn't an issue in Shiv because what happens is, is that if you let your teammate one v one. That he, there's so much risk of him dying. He can't just buffer his defense with chambers because he might get 50 50 faint. He might get fucking one frame reversed. He might get unreadable, whatever. And I agree, there shouldn't be unreadable shit in the game, but you should be afraid of your teammate dying. You should want to help your teammate, not just regen because it's easy and but you know that he'll always stay alive. Would, would you say that people still did, like, um, it did still happen in Shift where people would walk across more? Like, that did happen. Often. Yeah, often. So I, I don't know about often, but should it should it no, even no. happen like once? Is what I'm saying. Yeah. No, no, I, no, I see what you're saying. So often, I'll, I'll tell you now from my experience, right? In three v threes, I'd see a teammate, right, and he's in a one v two or he's in a one v one. I just let him die, man, because yeah. I don't fucking trust him. He might feed a repost or some shit. I just take the regen and I just go yeah. one v one. So I would a, know that. That's high skill as well. Yeah. Gonna die. But the thing yeah, is, like, um... I know my teammate would die though, and I remember doing it. I remember doing it against like three v three. Oh no, two v two is against like Pac Man, like. Like Frank, but what double. you've done there is you've just made it harder for that one guy to clutch because like you've taken the duel basically and w what could have happened instead is like you push him low hp and like you're a little bit jittery because like oh my teammate's gonna fucking throw and then he does through and then suddenly like he does like this epic tv one right so that's what we'd get more of if we didn't have health regen you didn't, we wouldn't even get the choice to do this like back away slow duel gameplay instead we get like fast 2v1 does it happen you have to go in there's no nothing else for you to do you have to go in and fight you have to clutch it so we'd get more of that without health regen which again i think would be beneficial then there's so many negatives of health regen where it's not worth it. The, the problem is... Uh, wait, so many negatives of not... Because you still have bandages. <laughs> Christ, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Everyone will just take bandages. No, we, obviously we're saying get rid of it. Bandages as well. We said that last time, man. Come on, stop trolling. Alright, so we get the 0% bandage roll. Well, it just wouldn't be like a... Just more more rules. Just more wouldn't rules. do anything in... <laughs> You right. make it more expensive. What what does Tenacious do in comp now then? You have to Wouldn't do anything. Tenacious? Get rid of it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you'd uh, do this in ranked. Like, it shouldn't be that hard though. Just make... Well, I'm if sorry, health regen I... didn't work, then if you pick Tenacious, it's like, well, great, you wasted one point. But I don't right, know how let, you'd let, best do that. Let me just reiterate some points, right, okay? So the, the first... The, the, what people often understand... I understand what you mean, Sally, with no health regen. I understand that you meant bandages as well, because that's just obvious. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the other thing that I'm saying is that when I'm saying the meta shouldn't be attrition based, I don't think that shit should be flat out unreadable like it was in Shiv. But I think right now the game's too easy to read. I think most neutrals are way too easy to read. Uh, like if someone runs at you and does an overhead faint with a messy, you can you don't even need to think about it, man. You just it will just get passive red. They're fucking useless. They're literally garbage. Combo faints are just absolutely useless. Like they, they never work in comp. I think. Well, I don't know. Really I, I'm not sure if that's true. Like um. Like uh, we were saying about Boner earlier, I'm fairly sure if we were to vacuum test Mesa overhead feints, I'm not sure, would they be 100% readable? Like even if you like, did some weird Excel on them? Like if you mixed up like Pop. instant Excel and feints, is that still unreadable? I don't know. It's easy Pop. enough to feel weak. It's easier than yeah. Shiv, maybe. Easy enough to feel weak, but vacuum test is never the correct way to do things because Why not? things aren't done in a vacuum. Oh, well, kind of, but you can back away as well if you do that. So it's still somewhat yeah. similar. If you can read it in a vacuum, you can read it in game for sure. There's just there's just too many factors, but anyway, the, the overall the overall thing my my issue is right, Stouty. Okay, so we both we both see the issue here, Stouty. Yeah. And the issue is is that when someone's trying to two v one, we can just cycle plays and regen. Okay. Yeah. So you you you're saying the solution to that is you should disable health regen. Yeah. I understand I understand your point. What I'm what I think the solution should be is 
the meta needs shifting where I can kill players faster and I should have more capacity to 1vx as well. That's that's what I think the solution is. So there's a, we can still debate the two points, but for anyone that's still... I don't, you still you stream at 90s, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so for anyone who's listening to this debate, that's that's the two sides of the argument. So I personally think that 1vx should be buffed for the 1, and I think that you should be able to kill people quicker. Right now it's way too hard to kill a comp player because he can just chamber everything and, and buffer his defense way too hard. And the reason why I say this is in Shiv, this regen thing was never a problem like it is in Mortal. Because what happens is if you go to you if you go off to regen and you leave your teammate in the one v one, your teammate might just get fucked, and then and then you're fucked. Well, I think the bigger one, problem one... was it took a lot longer. Yeah, well, no, it didn't in, in Merc's mod uh, and comp mod. Well, you had to stand and... still, so you couldn't back away. Because what you can do right now with regen is like you just position yourself behind them all the time, so you're always in like the exact perfect position. You don't even need to do anything; you can just rotate and uh, be ready. You Maybe, didn't have you didn't have that in Shiv. Agreed. Maybe maybe some changes to health regen could come off the back of this. But I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I feel I like um. Yeah, uh, may, maybe so, maybe walking regen could be much weaker than standing still regen. That that could be a big deal. There there are potential changes off the back of this. But I I disagree with completely removing health regen. I don't think that's a solution. I, I think was, that. I was going to say this earlier, but um, regen's too fast. Stam yeah, and exactly. HP. Stam and HP. They're both way too fucking fast. Okay, that's that's fine. I I I can agree with that. Um, I do think that regen can be kind of bullshit sometimes, uh, and you have to be you have to act really fucking fast to punish regen, like really fucking fast to punish regen. Um, and sometimes it's quite impossible. No, 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 so... no, 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 no. I can give us some example. Me and Double Jewel a lot, and we can both read really well for like what you can read. We yeah. can both stay alive, put it that way. And then the thing is, what will happen in the duel is. We're both holding S a lot because we don't. We actually want to be able to read, and if you hold W, reading's impossible. Yeah, you and get then, that micro region, don't you? Yeah. Uh, no. What will happen is, is basically someone will just do one repast, and it will just for some reason have like a bit more knockback than like what you're <laughs> usually used to. And then at that point, we stop dueling each other. It's a new duel because no, we can't, I can't punish him for regening. He can't punish me for regening, and the regen's so fast that even if I try, he'll regen like thirty-five stam, and that's like three hits. What was the yeah, debate? Sure. I, I, right, sure. Wait. All right. Someone going. Wait, 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 and wait, I want to make a point. All right, so okay. I, I agree with what you're saying, Frank. Um, I think that health regen could be looked at. However, I don't think disabling health regen is a good solution. But I do agree that we could slow down health regen. We could change how health regen works. I do think it is a bit overtuned right now. I think it right, is. But if you made it bad. slower, what if both players just decide to regen? Then you get even more downtime. Because it can happen. Both players just like, fuck it, we'll both go for it. And then we just stand around then, for a minute. Then... I 100% exactly agree with you. Then you can add like the, the comp mod health regen because standing still in comp mod wasn't that bad. And as well, that regen, I understand there is a little bit of downtime. But, all right, all right. Even yeah. if the regen itself becomes faster, you still get the time to kill. It's just increased like two hits for both players. So it's still going to take a lot longer than if no one regen. Yeah, but you don't want to make the game just like absolutely rapid, man. If I, I think we should. Go. Well, not not super rapid. It's already even if there's no region, it's a lot faster than like every other first person melee the game. Only, uh, competitive only game. way I can see this work is if you have no region and bloodlust default. So when you kill some guy in one v one, you have full health for the next. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Is that worse? Let's, let's look I, at CS. I, look at CS. Look at the clutches in CS. It's like simple. Just pops out two people dead. Like that's how we should be. It can't because be that you fast, obviously. You can't, can't convert CS, out. You can't convert CS, man. It you, you can, you can. No, no, because there's no such thing you as You can compare the time CS. to kill. Exactly, right? No, no, you, there's no such thing as parrying CS. There's completely different... Di like, right, right now, man, you can't compare CS. And the other thing, Crush, that would be a bad change because if you made Bloodlust the default, the fucking level of snowball would be ridiculous in the right. game. It, it, the snowball in, like, 3v3s, 4v4s, 5v5s would just be stupid. So in terms of viewing experience, you definitely can compare the two. Like, if the fights drag on too long, that's something you can compare to other first-person games. The fights and are shorter I, in CS. I agree, Stout. So if the fights drag on too long, that's not an issue with health regen. Again, that's... Well, it is. If both issue. players decide to regen, that's one of the primary factors why people go to disengage and the fight it's, becomes it's longer. To, it's to do with the attrition meta, man. It's not to do with the health regen. It's the fact that... Well, the health regen is always going to be adding on to the, the length of the fight. If both players... If players always can be rewarded for regening. It's, Simply it's but... like a... Like I said, man, it's a symptom. It's not the cause of the problem. The cause of the problem is that people can stay alive for too long, so health regen is like... But health regen yeah. causes people to back away. That is, like, the primary reason people do it. Yeah, but you don't have to let people... If you don't want to let someone back away, they can't back away. Only if you're having, like, an S-duel, like Frank's talking about. 
But like, I don't let people read Jenna Jules. I face hug the fuck Regen out. Regen is people. fine, man. It's fundamental. <laughs> yeah, but Gary, that's because if you chamber everything, you're allowed to hold W. You're not allowed to hold W if you press parry. You're not allowed. Agreed. It's yeah. just not allowed. But yeah, the, th the thing is, it, yeah. uh, but when, go on. yeah, go on. Yeah. Are you, do you finish yeah. point? Yeah, so I, I personally, I play with an aggressive playstyle, and I, I know how fast the regen is, and I often don't let people regen. No, we had several are... full regens in our duel, right? Like in the tournament fight, we had lots of full regens. In, yeah, in, in the tournament fight, it was different, though, because you played in a specific way, which basically meant you could be fucking cancer with feints. Yeah, so pretty I much. Didn't really have, I didn't really have much choice. If you used any other weapon, I wouldn't let you regen that much. But By the way, I'd just like to oh. clarify that specific way he's talking about for anyone who doesn't know is you pick the bastard sword and uh, stabs aren't readable so you yeah go. you just faint once and you back away and then get your stand back that's more with stand not health yeah. but uh the thing is even if it's possible to correctly punish health regen you're going to get instances where people don't correctly do it and uh or even I, I mean i argue it's a lot harder than you make it out to be you and double like i think you can like cheese it by reposting and moving backwards and threatening kicks it's always dangerous to like attack someone that's backpedaling especially seeing as every time you sprint or attack or faint you stop your stamina and health regen, so that's always like gonna be reward whoever backs away first in that sense. And again, like just because it might be preventable doesn't mean it's not going to happen in tournaments and everything. It's still gonna, we're still oh, gonna see it. Kicks, though, right, Ryze, fucking mute yourself, you obnoxious little shit. What's that double? Tilted. Shut the fuck up. Right, I, I don't, I don't see how, I don't see the kicks working too much when you try well, to. Why are you so tilted? It, it does happen. I mean, People get t tapped by ke yeah, kicks as yeah, they make the approach. I mean, if I'm fighting gear or something like that. It doesn't really happen that often. Like we, it does happen. Like it we can debate happen. We each other's kicks, and we don't actually get kicked too often. Too often, but you know, it's something you need to like consider, and it slows it down as well. Like you have to like you have to like stop yourself as you get close enough. Right. So when you get I, into kick against, range. Against that, if if I if I'm to reiterate, I understand what you're saying. I think the problem with health regen is amplified by the fact that people stay alive too long. That's that's the issue. In my yeah, opinion. for sure. But like, I think it's way easier to fix this entire issue just by getting rid of health regen than like I, adding more mechanics. Like, we should be looking to refine the game rather than like make that, it more that's complex. That's like a hyper armor issue. You just put something in the game and you just brute force it as hard as possible, and then it's just like, oh, this has backfired, and we've got hyper armor for three months, and it was yeah. awful. Yeah, exactly. I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't. There was enough comp players who said it should come back. Hi so, hyper armor was yeah. fine. In, I mean, like, I mean, like in three v three. I mean, Outside like sixty-six percent, like absolute crazy hyper armor. I would. Yeah, I'm not even crazy. against like a, a little bit of the mechanics of it coming back, just not the damage reduction. That was insane. Yeah. Okay, so wh what I'm saying is, um, is that I think I understand what you're saying, Stouty. I I agree, man. I completely agree. We're, we're both t trying to tackle the same issue here. I just think that health regen is like it's too much of like you kind of chopping off some working functionality, which could maybe be just changed a bit. I don't think it needs chopping off. I think we need to attack it from a different angle. And the, the most important thing is you need to empower the one, right? You should always be empowering the single player in maybe slashes, because that's- I mean, I, I don't, I'm not sure I agree with that. I think you should be able to run VX without having weird mechanics. Uh, that was part of the beauty of Shiv. You can win without like doing some weird power up, like revenge mechanic. You, that's one of the reasons I attacked for Runner. Yeah, everything was a power up. You don't need fucking, yeah, you, you don't need fucking like a bullshit power up revenge mechanic. Overpower works. Overpower is like a, a pure like mechanical thing, not just a fucking actual actual button that you press. Do you know what I mean? I I don't think it's gonna wait. So I mean I don't even like consider it too much because it's, it's just gonna like every everything that could be wrong with it is just gonna be like addressed by more things we add in. So like for example. You can just miss and bait it. You could, you could still just like chamber spam into the, the one guy. Like, all this okay, is still so, going to be there. Yeah, yeah, but I, I just think Stouty that what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is that when you remove health regen, you do incorporate issues which I've which I've covered. There are what, issues. What, what's the main issue with it? Because the only real issue I've heard, which is kind of like I'm I'm not even considered I don't even consider it an issue. Like the the two v two scenario where you might be on like low HP because your teammate was worse. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'd consider like a, a big enough issue to warrant. Having a whole okay, new so, mechanic. So, that, so, that, so that's one scenario. Okay. Right. Now let me give you let me give you another scenario. Yeah. Okay. Right. You're you're in a pub, right? And let's say you have one HP. Right. By pub, okay, you mean rank that... pub with just some random guy on your team? Because this is this is only for like ranked LTS. I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. So right. let's say pub LTS. That's fine, right? You need to fight two full HP noobs with one HP. Yeah. Um. Or would you rather have full HP? Uh. But why are they both full HP? Why are two noobs on full HP? Why would you be low? Yeah. 
Because, what do you mean why would you be low? Because you've taken damage and you're low HP. But they're noobs. How are they doing damage to you? Well, I'm, give, I'm just giving you the scenario here. The players are weaker than you, but you've done... Well, how do you take damage then? Because you do, are you saying you've never been hit by a new player in this game? Well, I mean, that's my fault then. Like, I deserve to lose a round if that's the case. Yeah, but what if you get hit in the back and shit? What if they make six switches? Ah, uh, come on. You... Choose a different argument. Yeah, uh, come on. This is bad. This one's bad. How is it? I, I literally spend six hours a day pubbing. If I couldn't... Yeah, but that's a pub. Time. In ranked, you shouldn't be, like, getting hit by noobs. Why bad? There's a lot of factors going on. It depends on the size of the game. In a 2v2, it's there's not much factors. It's mostly a duel and like switch. In a 2v2, I already gave you the argument for that. If you remove health regen in 2v2, you instantly weak weaken the player with the weaker teammate, which is bullshit. Um, there's, there's, there's no I, I don't, to it. Wait, wait. It's a fact, man. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that's 100% true. I, Why? I feel like... Why? So you're... If you're a good player, right, you want to empower a good player, right? If you're good enough to kill the other guy, you should be good enough to kill him and then kill the other guy as well, kill both players. If you're a sick player, that, that's, that's uh, your prerogative to do that. And not healthy okay. gen doesn't prevent that. Okay, so let, let me... Let me well, the yeah, lack it of it doesn't prevent it. Let me give you this scenario again. So it's you and Jimmy versus Double and Frank, right? Yeah. How often, how often is Jimmy going to die? How much damage is he going to do? But if How you're the best, gonna... if you're like the best player that can carry, you're not taking damage. That's kind of my point. Yeah, but that's that's just not how it works, though, man. But it, it can it can work like that. Hundred percent, it can. You no, can win a duel and not take damage, can, can and let, you can win a duel can let it on low HP. Yeah, exactly. From behind, as well, even yeah. if you playing perfectly. I mean, if you're not good enough to carry it and not take damage, then you're gonna lose. Unfortunately, like it sounds like in this scenario, you're not good enough to to, to carry that player. That's just the unfortunate fact in that scenario. So, so what happens is, let's say I'm slightly better than Double and Frank. Right. right? And if your teammate's and considerably like, worse, then you probably should be losing that 2v2. That's just yeah, how I'm, it works. I'm, I'm, I'm better than Double and Frank, though, so why... Is, I'm not saying I am, sorry. I'm not saying I yeah, am. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but I'm... Well, you are. <laughs> Number one rank you. Look, what I'm trying to say is that I, sh I shouldn't suffer because of a shit teammate. I should be able to carry his. You're going to have to suffer, though. That's how teams work, I'm afraid. I don't know. Yeah, but this is, this is what I'm saying. This is melee slasher, man. It's not fucking dope. If you were considerably you better, if you're a little bit better, you can't carry. If you're considerably better, you will carry. That's my what, argument. What, yeah, but I'm, you can't be considerably better because it's only so high you can have this skill. In that man. case, you need to get a new teammate. Because if yeah, you're playing at the very top the level, though, if you're playing at the it's very top level, the one. you gotta empower the one, man. Not this fucking bullshit. It's not fucking Dota. It's not CS:GO. This is what we're trying to avoid, man. This is what's cancer about these games. It's like, oh, fucking. CSGO, CSGO, oh, I think CS:GO is great. Game, dickhead doesn't play healer, right? Play right. A game of CS:GO. The problem, oh, the problem with this example is you're picking the very top level play and you're trying to like take a shit teammate with you. Not, I'm not saying you, like, of course, like everyone's a good player. But if you're playing at the very top level, if you're playing number one and number two, you can't take number like fifty with you. Like you can't expect I, I, to, to I win that. I disagree. I disagree because what if I'm what if I'm too? Because you said it yourself, the skill level isn't high enough for you, uh, like to, to carry that just by. No, I'm, I'm not saying the skill level isn't high enough. I'm saying my skill level isn't high enough. And what I'm right. saying as well is that let, let, okay, maybe Don Frank's not a good example, right? What if it's like fucking Miyamoto and like Shredder, right? Then that you Shredder should. Guys well, I'd say no, the Shredder that, argument that, that, is because Shredder's animations or like the War Axe is like broken, but yeah, yeah, let's, just, no, let's, but let's just say two mid-tier players. All right, for this instance, you shouldn't be taking damage and you should win your duel fast. So, like, oh, let's just say both duels end at the same time. Let's say both. All right, let's just say both duels end at the same time. Why have you taken damage from a mid-tier player? And they even if you take a little bit of damage, you'll get some of your health back through health on kill. So that no, shouldn't no, no, be an they, issue. No, no, it's wrong. They wouldn't end at the same time. Your teammate would die first. The whole point is that your teammate... Oh, okay, okay, that's perfect. Cause that's 1vx, and in 1vx, health regen only helps the X. So you should be yeah. in favour of getting rid of health regen, regen in that. Again, except. again, so I understand what you're saying with health regen. The problem yeah. is, is that I can't kill a player who's considerably worse than me because of the attrition meta. Right. Well, and, and 1vx is in such a shit how, how come your Russian... The, how come the Russian guy did, though? What? How come the Russian guy was able to kill the other player quickly? Because my, the whole point is my players dog, my teammates dog shit. That kind of sounds like it's the teammates' fault rather than like region. Yeah, and again, again, Stouty, it's not. I, it's I don't. Not, I don't think it's, it's that. Or CS:GO, man. Or it's not Overwatch. Oh, but like... let's just talk about this one scenario. So, um, you, without health regen, you're more likely to clutch in that exact scenario because uh, 
then the two guys that are fighting, they can't... So the one that dies quickly, right? Let's say maybe he does some damage, or like, maybe you do damage in your duel. Now when the new guy comes in, the guy that you were fighting, he can't just back away. So he's like, forced to fight, and you can like, get the clutch. You can maybe like, tap him once, luckily. Get health and kills through that, and you've you got like, a really good position to win uh, the TV one. Tap, tap him once, luckily. Yeah, it can happen. Right, That's on. how most 1vx's work. Most 1vx on, works as like a mistake. No one no, should be no. losing like a xv1. It happens to like they get complacent and like it's like oh shit I took a hit. And that's that's I understand what you're saying and that's what I disagree with right now. If I wanted 1vx, I should have the tools and utility to outplay the two. Well, you, and not you have, kind of not do have already. I don't I don't want it to become like too obnoxious with like the tools and everything. You got like easy power that gives you stamps. So if you parry everything, like you yeah maybe like there should be like a feintable. Uh, if you parry it, enough, it doesn't, it doesn't I, I feel like this could be like. No, no, no. Yeah. no listen, if they, with the current mechanics, if they play it slow, you don't get parry into parry, you just lose. That's how it works. If, right. if you have to 1v2 against S holders, you just lose because you'll never get PR. There might be a point there, but I feel like this doesn't address the 1vx issue. I'm oh, sorry, the health regen issue. Like, that, maybe one thing, maybe you, we get rid of health regen and 1vx is still too hard, and maybe like we can go from there. But right now, I haven't heard any good points for getting rid of health regen yet. Oh, sorry, uh, for health regen, I haven't heard any good points for health regen in last team standing. Because I I like to regen, like like I said, if you're against two noobs, I want to regen to. Alright, but then for two noobs, you're not up. taking damage. You shouldn't be taking damage you against do, two noobs. You do, you do take you do take damage. And up. you could have played it better. It, it, that probably means that you gambled or something. Like that seems you to be like. Save the game. Why are you not gonna take damage? Say again. Sorry. Throw balls. You can parry throw balls. Why are you taking damage from throw balls? What if your teammate allows a switch? Uh. Well, I guess, yeah, maybe your teammate have, could have played you better. Have you don't have enough FOV to see out your ass. It's not about your team, man. It, it shouldn't be, this is the, like, again, again, man. This is the, it's this always going to be about your team, 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 team in a team game. Like, you can't just, uh... It's a team game. It's a team, it's team, game. A team game. It is a team game, man. It's yeah, team it 2v2. It shouldn't be like that. It's It will be more, like you're saying, like, individual based without a region. Game about burst damage. Uh, exactly, burst damage. damage. Well, it's, well, it's about dealing damage, and if you deal one shot and that player's on low HP because you can regen, you're more likely to win, more likely to be empowered. Well, the problem with this cycling X mechanic shit is because you can't take down the one player fast enough. That's the problem, man. It, I, I mean, I, I agree. If you could regen slow, that's going to help the issue, but I still think overall it's it, better it's for the game with no you regen. You're afraid of your teammate dying before you get decent enough regen. That's the issue. But like you said, you still get examples where like your teammate's so shit, you're just like, fuck it, I'm going to go take the full regen. And then you walk yeah, across the map and it's like really fine. shit. That's, no, it's, hmm, I don't think it's fine. I don't think we should ever watch like a guy just walk across the entire map and climb out the area and Why, just like sit around for two minutes. Brutal. That's lovely. Some, some <laughs> it's, it's, I don't think, I think I, you could poll viewers and I don't think anyone wants to see that. Maybe once or twice it could be funny. Kill my but... teammate, man. I used to fucking kill my teammates. Do you know how many times I've killed Jimmy so he doesn't feed HP and stamina? Yeah. Yeah, that's a legit man. strategy. That's yeah. different, though. Team killing him. That's not different. Like, that's that's not different. different. I mean, I feel, I feel like the argument kind of falls apart. Like the whole noob issue, where like you t if you take damage to a noob, it feels like that's more your fault than anything. I feel it's like not, man. Because there's ways you take some damage in this game. That, that's your teammate's play. communication fault. Because like he should be calling the switch. Yeah, it shouldn't be about the fucking teammate. It's gonna have to be, man. Like there's no way around it. I'm afraid. I, I, well, there, there I, is ways. What, how do you stop someone from switching to you? Like. What mechanic could you add to the game that stops that? Just like bubble shield or like armor well, lock? What happens is, <laughs> no, what, no, what happens is you eat the switch, right? And then you fuck up his teammate and then you regen and then you fuck up the guy that switched you. Do you know what I mean? Well, you get more likely to do that without health regen because if like, you fuck up the teammate, he's just going to no, back you away get, and like, all right, let's switched, play. Like, you you take the turn. The you get switched in the arsehole and then you have to one for one a guy where you got no fucking HP. After, excuse me. I feel like you should be winning like t against two noobs, especially if you've got a teammate to just take time. Like that yeah, should be doable. Win, it's very hard to win against two noobs if you're on low HP. Maybe you should, I know, but like just skip the part where you took damage, which is where I find it hard to believe. Like if you're if you're considerably better, you shouldn't be taking damage from well, two noobs that like, don't know how to play you, properly or like switch properly or do anything. Better player than me, Stouty, because I take damage off noobs all the time. And it's not have you ever scrimmed two noobs? Like you, they'd get bodied like seven zero every single time. Yeah, but it depends. It depends because when I'm talking noobs, man, I literally mean people like fucking Shredder. That's legit what I'm talking about when I say noob. That's a fucking. Yeah, well, Shredder's player. like not that. Shredder's pretty good. Let's be real. Yeah, he's, he's the best good. Russian player for sure, and he's playing on like low ping. I think that no, the issue with Shredder might be like he like um. Yeah, I I I wouldn't even class him as a noob, honestly, because they beat like some serious players. I think he's on Stouty's level. 
It might maybe. Like if on my ping, I'm not I'm not gonna shit talk Shredder Mansion. He's not bad. I mean, we beat him consistently, but like he plays on higher ping. I wouldn't consider him like a noob. I think the guy plays like a fucking spouse. And a player like that, literally, I I watch him. I, I'm screaming against him, and I'm watching him but spaz out. The Russians are like some of the worst abusers of the, the regen meta. So like, that, they that all carry bandages. In the VK public server. No, yeah. he's, be he's better for sure. 100% he's, he's better for sure, man. I can, like, 30. If no one sees me on the VK server, though, like, if, unless Pac Man's on, I can 30 and 0 that VK public most of the time. Shredder, I can't, like, 10 0 that guy. Probably I can't. Why are people saying Shredder's dog shit? Yeah, he's good, right, right? Exactly, man. I think he's shit. I, I laugh shit. at him. Exactly, right. I can let you... And he can make plays. Exactly, man. He's, he's actually sick. He's actually, like, he's got good team play as well. You're, 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 okay, I hate, I fucking hate saying this to you because you're such a little shit, but you're insane at the game. You don't have the same opinions as everyone else. Yeah, but why, why you're, can you're, I be you're, you're on a sick level, so you, you, you're just like, I bet you say, all right, he's fucking dog shit. Yeah, but what? Which to you, it's like, yeah, fair enough, you're insane. Why Shredder's can I meme Shredder? Why can I meme Shredder and you, not you, double? You can meme anyone, you fucking little I, bastard. I can't consistently, I can't consistently. Yeah, but you know you can. I can't you know, meme double off right. Do yes, you, I've seen you do it. I've How? seen you meme How? double. Cause you, you, I, I actually saw on your 2v2 you meme double. You fucking went in his face. And you just threw a fucking sword in his face. But with Shredder... No, but that was, a, that was a 2v1. That was a 2v1. Yeah, but it, that was miles away regen and you were just fucking with him. Yeah, but that's because... So that's because the that, no, but that's because the bullshit we're talking about where it's but just Shred so easy to do one. Shred is not a noob. Yeah, he's not a noob, man. All right, all right. Can't paint him like that. Okay, I'll use I'll use a different fucking Russian example then. If you want to, if you want to. Any comp it. player you're gonna mention isn't like the noob that we're talking about. Noob, like if you if you're like matching, like for example, if you're playing a fours and rate, your elo should be like super low. You're playing like low mid tier players that like you should be able to like never get touched by like. Part of the reason they're mid tier is that they don't know how to switch properly, so they won't be able to like hit you in the back. So you, you should be like free to do what you want, really. And First of all, that's that's not how Elo works actually at all. Usually in most games, if you if you're like literally the rank one player, you have the number one spot on the ladder, and you play with the guy who's playing at like the sixteen thousandth slot, you'll most likely be playing against people who are at like the like fifteen hundred ish slot. And there'll probably be one guy who's even lower than that, like probably like 800, 700. Well, we, we don't know what it's going to look like, but the thing is, like, you shouldn't really balance the game around, like, meme playing with someone that's completely new. That's always going to end badly. Well, we can just use the example of, like, the mid tier player then, the guy who's, like, top 800. I think it's more an argument for, like, individual power rather than some meme scenarios. Look, look at some of these pussies in your Twitch chat. Look at this SRNG guy. It's not about your team. What the fuck, Giru? Go play 1v1s then. No, what I'm saying, SRNG, right, is that if if my teammate, if I'm better than the enemy two players, I should be empowered to beat him and not just lose every time. You are, because you, you, you're better than them. You can quickly kill someone and, like, carry, like, with, like, that. You can't, I can't, man. You can. can. You definitely can, man. Why would you? Of course you right can. Now, why right why now can't you? Doesn't work, man. I've tried it. I've tried scrimming. With pe I've tried doing right, two v two. With... Which of these two players are you struggling? Like, which players are they? Like, that you consider that you should be able to, like, fucking stomp 2v1 with, like, which two players would that, you that, consider that's, that level? That's not... If you're better than 25 players, you should be able to 1v25 with that logic. No, no, I'm Fucking not. I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm, no, oh, wait, Fucking exactly. Stop. No, I'm reading your Twitch chat. Fucking exactly, man. If I can stomp 25 noobs, I should be able to fucking murder all 25 of them, man. That's This is what Melee Slash is about. This is this is why people want to get good at the game. I, I, I agree. That, man. I agree, but I think health regen is one of the things that's in the way. Because those 25 agree. players can just like take turns. Like, oh, take a hit. I all right, 24 going. The thing is, we don't know if help, removing health regen works, right? There is arguments against it. Alright, I, ha I haven't heard it. one yet, I'll be honest. I haven't heard, heard a single good reason to have health regen. I, I don't know if you want to hear one, that's it, the thing. I, 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 of course I do. Of course I do. But anyway, what? like I was saying... So, let's just go into them. Wh Frank, which are they? Well, you and Gary have literally been going back and forth on, literally the on this, same this one issue, which is like... The, now, it's to a, the point it, where I, I actually stopped listening, because it's just like... Like, no one will concede anything. I, I haven't heard, like, a good reason yet. That's my main thing. Like, I don't think the 2v2, I might take damage from a noob. Okay. I, I don't consider right, that okay. a reason. You, you, can, you can say now, Stouty, that you don't think it's a good reason. But I think everyone in here is agreeing with my reason. I don't know if it, does anyone disagree with my reasoning. I don't oh. think it's legit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's not legit. You can't okay. just say, oh, in this situation I've made up, where I'm up against, like, the two best players besides me, I'm in a 1vx, it's like, it's not, 
a very good what? argument. Explain explain why, Rekrop. I think you're saying that you can't take a noob argument. with you into like a you. high level. Yeah, go on, sorry. It's like the top three players and mm. Jimmy. You can't <laughs> really Jimmy's base the game around that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not basing the game around so it, but like... we, we're using specific examples for... What, 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 what Rose, you got any chocolate? Uh, no, I ate all my chocolate crops. Well, everyone, everyone agreed they'd be willing to try it out. I'm, I'm more than happy to try it out, but we're using specific scenarios, Rekrab. The whole point is we tackle it scenario by scenario. So if, if right. you disagree with that scenario, why, why are you saying that, oh, you can't balance the whole game around that one, one scenario? But the we, the we, thing we, is, like, this is the only scenario we've heard so far. And I, it, it, it's got something to it, but it doesn't really stand up that well. That's my issue with this. That I, sh I shouldn't be able to regen and comp to full HP to, to take down two enemies. No, no, no. Enemy. I'm saying you shouldn't even be in a position where you need to regen against two noobs. Like, they shouldn't be touching you. Yeah, but that's that, that's just wrong, though, man, Stouty. Because it's... I play against noobs all the time, and you... T you you play them in front line. Like, it's ten noobs that are going to get hit on you. In 2v2, when both players are, like... Even if it's, like, a mid-tier player, like, he's going to be in comms, right? Like, you're going to have something. Like, you shouldn't be losing that. Honestly, you could in a right, right, you okay, could run in one v two when your teammates AFK, and you should probably still win that just because they're so you're so above them. Okay, okay, right. Fuck, fuck what I'm saying about noobs then, right? If we're talking about two v twos, exactly. Okay, yeah. At any at any level right now, you can carry two v twos. Okay, so the only level that matters is when you're Wait. playing against like mid. Go on. You say right now? I don't think you can right now. Can't what? Carry two v two. Like I think that's kind of the problem, I, right? I, I I carry two v two all the time. There's very against like very good players. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's very few players I can carry 2v2 against. Who I can't carry 2v2 against, sorry. So, uh, and the, the example I used was Dublin Frank. I can't carry 2v2s against. And it's not because they cycle through. Wait, so what, what's your teammate awesome. looking like in that scenario? I used Jimmy. All right. Jimmy. <laughs> right, 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 Jimmy, the actual Jimmy now. We're actually talking about real Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I used fucking Jimmy, man. Uh, so do you think that I you can... could beat uh, Shredder and Miyamoto? Yeah, I, 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 I'll Jimmy. tell you who else. No, fucking no, fucking no, Shelly, no. man. I can't, I can't fucking carry Shelly either against Dublin Frank. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, like, it's kind of hard to say because like, there's so few 2v2 teams that 2v2 right now. I've, I've 2 v 2 a lot all throughout. I kind of lost track of the point. I, I don't know have, where we are right I now. Didn't have health, if I didn't have health regen, then I would. Then Shelly would die. I'd kill my target, and then I've got no regen, and Frank's gonna have full HP. But, all right. Uh, so in that exact example, you Shelly shouldn't be regen out. anyway, because like one of them, if you're two v one, you can't regen. Apart from like maybe the prelude. It's not. It's not two v one. It breaks oh, so it's dual. Yeah, because I kill my target. If it if it's a one v x, I just lose because there's but no one. I feel like if you're a very good player, and you say like it doesn't happen, but it can happen. You can win a duel without getting touched, or you can win a duel and get touched once and the health and kill covers it. So you, that yeah. part of the argument is covered by health and kill. Yeah, but that's less scenarios. That's that's too little right. amount of scenarios. Uh, I think if you look at over the total amount of scenarios where health regen completely buggers you in 2v1, it's definitely worth trading that exact one. It's, it's not, because I'm going off my personal experience when I've done these 2v2s before. If I didn't have health, health regen, I'd be fucked because I regen so how many? empower myself. I feel like you're like ignoring or like maybe you're not remembering the amount of times that people just tag team you and that it's just unwinnable for you due to tag teaming. Because I'm, I'm sure the, if we were to go across... Mount, like, okay. Yeah. I I 100 agree with you, Stouty. Like I I cannot iterate how many times I've agreed with you this. Right. The issue of people cycling the players in the two v one is garbage. It's aids, right? Right. right. Yeah. But, but, so I'm saying get rid of it. Right. Okay. So, but the issue, the health regen is the symptom. It's not the cause of the issue. The cause of the issue is that I can't. It, they don't care about leaving their teammate to one v one. He's just gonna get fucked. That's right, he's just not going to get fucked. I'll get fucked because that guy can just chamber and keep stay alive forever. So we're tackling the same issue here, but you're saying remove health regen, it yeah. comes with negatives, and I'm saying you need proper mechanics and you need uh, to change uh, the map from yeah. nutrition. Bullshit. Let's keep going for like the positives of health regen. Is, is there any more? Like, is, that, is it just the dual scenario? Is there any more that anyone can think of? Mi mitigating switches, mitigating damage off switches, mit mitigating fucking projectile damage. That's a big one, right? I'd argue that's not a main one, and also, right, so right now, projectiles, they only do you just, damage you just in like the 2v1. Five five against jabs, man. It's fucking AIDS. So, so, what was that? In 5v5? Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, and, and and chip damage as well. Let's not forget chip damage, I'd, right? I'd, for this debate, no, 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 I don't want to take in 5v5 because like, I'm talking about a rank imagine, ladder, which is 1-1. One, one. No, no, listen, listen, yeah. listen as well. Imagine 2v2. Imagine faint weapons like Bastard Zord, right? Imagine if you couldn't yeah. HP regen against a Bastard Zord. That guy is just going to yeah. AIDS faint you. He's going to I don't think most of the time you don't get to like regen against Bastard Zord, even a duel. Like, he can pressure in you. In 2v2, you regen all the time with Bastard Zord. No but isn't, he, isn't he just going to switch your teammate and just fuck him up now? It's 2v1. What, what's going to happen is he's going to spam faint you, right? And you're going to have to back off to try and reach it. You're going to take two hits. Now you're one hit. And then he's just going to go kill you. All right, so if you go and regen, regen, like, you can't really regen now. Otherwise, it's just 2v1 for your teammate. If you back away and regen now. Yeah, so then you back away and regen. Then you just 2v1 and both. But, That's what I'd do. <laughs> you're not, if you couldn't beat him in a duel, how are you going to beat him in a TV one where he can also have used health regen on you? Because I'm I'm a better player, so yeah, he managed to get me down low, but now I just 2v1. He's just, <laughs> just TV one. I don't buy it, man. I don't buy it. No, what do you mean? What, what do you mean don't buy it? Because I did this all through Alpha. I was farming top tier players like this in Alpha. No issues at all because of high Promer. 1vx was so powerful, I could consistently farm high tier players in 1vx just because of how strong high parameter is yeah this but all the time. Speaking, high parameter causes its I'm own issues right yeah i know yeah, i know for sure for sure it was easier yeah. because we had like a 1vx yeah. mechanic I'm, but what i'm, I'm saying is rather than having a like, weird high parameter mechanic that's just like kind of clumsy and isn't good for many scenarios why not just get rid of healthy gen so the game's just like in this pure distilled state where we don't have like some stupid 1vx mechanic that's like inconsistent well, and so you have some fucking aids guy with bastard sword faint you and then that's gonna happen anyway that's more of an argument against bastard sword what if you're up against a player that is really good at dueling, and when he when he comes and two v ones you, he is dogs the teamwork, so then it's easier to two v one him. In that scenario. Sorry, what's the question? So yeah, so so then it's easier to two v one than duel. Uh, so then you need the region. No, no, even even Pac Man, you, you like you want you're saying that even if like there's a duelist, it's easier to two v one than to one v one. What? It was an alpha. I had way easier time two v one in Pac Man than I did one v one in it, one hundred percent. Because the plays I could make off hyper armor was way easier. I don't, I don't see how that's related to health regen exactly. I'm kind of confused. Because the issue with health regen that you're using is that you can't one v x because people cycle regen. That's the issue. Yeah. Well, if all right, all right, so if if nobody's using health regen, then we just, we just ignore it because it's not being it's not egregious. We're only looking at examples where it's bad. So if someone decides not to regen, that's fine because that's what we're trying to get all the time. Exactly. But the, the problem isn't, so you don't remove health regen, you make it so you don't want people to health regen. Why not just remove health regen? Because that seems to, like to be the easiest solution. There's, down, there's downsides, yeah, this, I understand what you're saying, it's the yeah. easiest solution, it's also a lazy solution, and it's not good. Sometimes the lazy then, solutions are the best, like if someone's trying to be too complicated, that's not necessarily good. It's, like, not, it's not about, yeah, it's not about being too complicated. What's it called, like, Acom's Razor or something? Like, sometimes like, the simplest solution's like the best, or like, the most likely I, to be. I, I agree. Overcomplicate the game, but right now, Stouty, do you agree or not that 1vx is fucking impossible in the game? Right? Uh, yeah, but I think the game. biggest thing is health regen. That's my whole thing. Yeah, and right now, you can't 1vx two good players. It's impossible. It's nigh impossible. You physically cannot 2v1 good, uh, two good players, right? And I disagree with that. I think if you're on full HP, they're on full HP. <laughs> yeah. You should have the abilities, there should be the utilities to outplay these players in a 2v1, right? Yeah. And it shouldn't come down to, I can only 2v1 them because they're both low HP. That should not how that should not No, no, be. but the thing is, you can more likely win a full HP one as well because they can't regen the damage that's dealt. So every hit you make is permanent. That's another reason. So... Yeah, but that, that's, that's a lesser scenario though. It's not, well... If you've got, if you've got a shit teammate, if you've got a shit yeah. teammate, then, then no. Yeah, well, that's exactly that's exactly the scenario. So if that if you've got a shit teammate, he's done no damage, right? Yeah. So you have to do two full HP duels, which is gonna be easier or sorry, a one V two. It's gonna be easier if they can't regen every time you get a hit off. No, Just getting a hit is extremely hard. So you can't let them negate no damage, it as well. So your teammates done no damage, so I can't regen HP, so then I have to one v one Frank or double on one HP. And they have full But HP if if your teammates done no damage in both scenarios with and without regen, you don't get to regen in that scenario. So that's health true. regen doesn't benefit you in that scenario. And that's health true. regen does uh are you saying it's not true? It's not true, no. Because what happens is, is that the one can still back off. The one the guy that if you didn't manage to kill your target in time, he might be backing off as well. You might both opt for regen. Wait, so you're saying in a two V two where your teammate dies instantly and you're still fighting your fight, you get to regen? You can, yeah, you can. I don't think 100%. that's true because I think hundred percent. That's happened many times because what that's is, completely the fault of the two. That shouldn't happen. It's not true because your teammate might not want to feed. Uh, the first guy might not want to feed. But why? What's he feeding? Everyone's full HP. 
There's no, there's no risk of feeding. You can play stupid at this point because no one's going to die quickly. He but he's not at risk of dying yet because he's still full HP. Oh, the guy I'm fighting is one full HP. That was that the example. Everyone's full HP. Oh no, you're low and they're both full HP. Well, yeah, but that, that's a very specific scenario where you've not been able to read them because you've done no damage. But this is a carry scenario. Energy. This is one of the scenarios where you could potentially carry and health regen is uh, affecting you negatively because um, uh, you don't get to use it and they do get to use it. Yeah, well then healthy jam works against you in that scenario, yeah. Yeah, so I'm saying like overall if you consider all so the scenarios, that's, that's, most that's of them are right. against the one and against clutches. So what are, what other instances do, does healthy gen help you? Let's just like hammer this. This is my whole whenever, point. Whenever you can fucking regen, man. You can, you can sneak regen. Uh, exactly, regen exactly. Regen. And most of the time, the only people that can regen are like the people that um, outnumber you. Or like if you've got a teammate that's shit, you're very rarely ever going to be able to regen. So if you want to be like a clutch player that's actually like carrying... You want to get rid of health regen? No, because you can still sneak off regen even if you're against two opponents. I've do I, I don't. I don't see how it can happen. Two full HP time. people. How do they let you regen? That's just a massive misplay by them. Okay, if if you because they might have to run across the map to you. If if yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree in this scenario. But how do they run away? If it's a TV two and you're dueling, you can't run away, right? Because like, how do you well, yeah, back in, away? In that in that scenario, you fuck. But that's yeah. a, that's even. So that's I'm just trying to find scenarios scenario. where it. Benefits you like what? What yeah, other scenarios yeah, can it help? Oh, agreed, agreed. In that scenario, yeah, you fucked. Yeah, you yeah. might do any ta damage to your fucking target. Of course, you fucked. Yeah, but you're still but more then, likely then, to win it. And then on region. top of that, there's there's not even any one vx mechanics to fight, so you just fucked anyway. Health regen or not, you just. Well, I, I've been in instances where I'm fighting like uh, the two Russian guys, right? And I'm actually winning. I'm doing a lot of damage, but that damage is being instantly negated by their bandages instantly negated it's like i'm never going to win like five separate duels it's just not happening and some of the yeah, duels do become two ones as well so i get outstamped get, quick get, getting the damage off is too hard like you can't fucking want i put it this way yeah, when you hit it is hard which is why we don't want it being negated by regen and bandages no you just want to be able to just kill people quicker you don't need to have it you don't like i said health regen is the it, symptom, it's a, it's the symptom i don't think it's cause. a symptom i think it is i think it is the main cause it's not the cause because it wasn't a problem in shiv I know well, this it wasn't then. a it huge problem in Shiv because it wasn't that good because in Shiv. You could fucking kill people. No, it was just as fast, man. It, it wasn't just as fast. It, it was pretty slow. It's pretty slow. Like, video. yeah, I remember like the TV one double regen. clutch. Yeah, only if you stand still though, which you uh, kind of limits like what how Fine. what yeah, you can yeah. do. Yeah, that's 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 a good point. Like we, there yeah. could be changes to health regen. There could be changes to health. But why? Here's my point. Like. Why make all these changes to accommodate it to make it less cancer when I can see very few reasons to have it at all? Like, even, like, one because HP per hour. Them. We don't know. The game works right now. Like, it, it's fine. You don't Todd Howard me. It's not perfect. <laughs> don't Todd Howard works. me. This is like a... Uh... Yeah, it just works. Yeah. And, and if you get rid of health regen, we have no idea what that's going to cause. Maybe we can't think of it right now. I, I can think of it. Everything. What happens is... People oh, just pressure. God. People just attack. What do you mean, oh god? If you've got no health regen, what are you going to do in a tooth one? It's like, How right. do you know what else it affects, but you, you just... Just because you can't think it's, of it doesn't it's, mean it might not. Because it's I've fairly already, simple, already, honestly. No, 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 right, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, I understand what Frank's saying, right? There, that's a very good point. There are effects that we've not considered, right? But I know many, 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 many instances over the years where I've regened and won a 1vx, right? I have no. I can literally think of many many instances when that's happened and if you want me to i can but this this, this this doesn't work because you, you can't do anecdotal because i can't say i think of many instances where no health regen has benefits me because i can't say that because regen's in the game I, I don't get to experience what it's like without that so you, you, you're using anecdotes that i don't have yeah, any power no, it's to use not anecdotes, man, because in shiv it wasn't a problem I but there was regen where it wasn't a problem where people wouldn't regen in 2v1s because it was bad only... all right here's the problem right people didn't regen in shiv because regen was bad but it did still happen and it's like it was very rarely, very, and it was more like a pain thing. Exactly, it like, it, it, well, yeah, exactly, because it was bad. But I'm saying, so that argument sounds to me like you want to get rid of, you want to make it slower, right? Why don't we just nerf the chamber window? I'm pretty sure me and Wizardish and Bona put that in yeah. private feedback like five months ago. That yeah. just never got done. I want to go to why this back. I want to go to this we, one. Yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we just nerf the health and stamina regenerate? It just happens way too quick. It even just starts too quick. Like it actually happens too quick, it yeah. starts too quick, and you can walk while while yeah. doing it. So you can always just walk at the enemy. Yeah, 100%. You can just walk at him. It's really bad and right then, now. 
but yeah, but we don't have to remove health regen. But I'm not saying I, I don't mind testing it. Look, I said that earlier. I don't mind testing. I don't, it. I don't like. I don't want to. I would. I would test it just to see what stuff it changes that we haven't thought about. That's what, why. I would what want what, to what test stuff it. do you think it could change though? Because for me, it's just really simple. Because like, well, if you. That's the point. I, d I don't know, and it's not like that. I, I think you do know because like. If you've got no health, just think about what you're gonna do. Like, what do, what options do you have left to you? You just have to push. You just have to fight. Like, that's the main thing that changes. There's no more incentive to back away. This is the thing that changes. It's... Yeah, but who knows what sort of like meta could form around regen not being in the game? It could be it's really more hate, more so more aggressive two v ones. Where like it's like fuck, we need to get get this fast. And then the clutches that are two v ones, they're gonna be real two v ones. They're not gonna be like, oh, I won two successive jewels. It's gonna be like I back parried that guy quickly, cut down the other one. It's gonna look a lot better. It's just gonna be more fun to play. Trust. Also... If you ask me. We, do, we wouldn't know that 2v1s would be really quick. If anything, right, this this could make the two play like really slow and methodical, and it could end up being slow. They'll just like really play to be like completely yeah, like, I, I, let you hit them. I don't buy this argument either. This is like the people are going to think more. I think thinking more is a good thing because what we get right now is people don't think. They just run in and gamble because it's like, oh, why I, not? I agree, but there's, that's because the lockout on Hyper Armor is gone. So like, yeah. I can literally hit people and then just press R and B. Part, of the, part of the reason people feel safe doing it is because like, oh, I took it now. I'm just going to back away. Like that's but, You can't deny that's, that's a big part of why. it. I, I, that's, I've never even thought about that. Do you know what? You know why I feel safe just stabbing into someone's repost Because I can just parry their attack. Like I can literally just... Yeah, there's that as well. But you, their attack's gone. I agree, like, that's pretty bad. But um, I feel like the, yeah, the ability to heal really is also going to be... Quick. Even if I have to back away, it yeah. still just happens but way too here's, fast. Here's the thing. I can walk around that's the region. biggest thing. That's the biggest thing. Even if it's too fast, why encourage any backing away whatsoever? I think that is, is just bad. Like 100% bad. Because... Because I still have to think about backing away. Stupid player just keeps going and dies. Not necessarily. Keep going. Like just keep fighting. I don't. I don't think we should be discouraging fights. Honestly, like, as, and you you're gonna be doing less dumb shit if you can't heal. Like you're always gonna be thinking like playing properly. It's gonna be like proper melee. It's not gonna be like Russian switch, Russian gamble, bandage if it turns out badly. I, I think. I think the problem is though is you're under the impression that you can mitigate all the damage that you take in this game, which you just can't, man. Like even in pure. Melee, no, I I agree. But the thing is, you're not gonna be able to like. Uh, get the health back as the one anyway. It's never going to be in your favour. It's always going to be the two guys that get to get the health back. I Honestly, I, I, think, I think a lot of these problems, they all just come down to chamber window and the regen speed. For stam and health, not even just health. Like the stam regen's way too I, I, I agree. I agree. Health, health regen speed and but, stamina regen right, speed. As, as you slow down health speed, we tend closer to zero, right? Why not just zero? Why? Because if both players decide to regen, we get this. It gets worse and worse as because the speed I, I decreases. Get, because then you can't regen. Then you, yeah. just, you can't regen. <laughs> that's good. That's that's my point. Because I don't think we should be increasing the time. I don't think we should be backing away. Uh, I don't think we should be like tag teaming at all. I don't think people should even say fuck it. You try and kill him. I'm just gonna go take the full HP. And if you die, I'll take the jewel. I don't think that's a good matter whatsoever. It doesn't doesn't happen. And it's still it it's still quite oppressive. Because let's say you're one HP. Five, it didn't. No, listen, Stout. It didn't happen in five years of Shiv. Why is that? Uh, we only had like. Because One two v two tournament. We had oh, maybe two two v two tournaments, and I'm fairly sure if I was to go back and look at vods, I could find some examples of it. It's been so long, I don't remember how often it happened. I I remember it fucking clearly, and it doesn't matter if there's two v two tournaments or not. Do you know Do you know how much beef there was in Shiv? Do you know how many sweaty tryhard late night two v twos? Yeah, there's been a lot. You know, you know how much beef so, I had. So what what happens if I go now and find some examples where it happened? Like what happens then? I, I I could find uh, you know I could do I could spend an hour finding many examples where I just go regen, come out with my dick out on full HP against two enemies with full HP, and I'm and I make mistakes, no, no, object, no. eat you... a couple of attacks, and then just win because I regen. And if I didn't regen, I would have died. I could find you a fuck ton of examples of that, and I know, and I guarantee you that. But exactly if you're regening, only the guy that's in the one VX, only the X would be able to go back and regen. It's not true because I regen all the time. I always take regen. And the I, that's, the, hit, that's the teammates. That's your enemy's here's fault. A, here's another little thing about Shiv too. In you won't Shiv, get away with that good place. Yeah, so go for it. It's if you, not true. Sorry, you, Shiv, you should never get away with it. How do you get away Shiv, with it? In Shiv, if you hit a guy who was reposting, you actually couldn't parry straight away. There was actually a little bit of a lockout. But now Mordhau has none. You can parry on the same frame you hit the guy. Like it's just it's so egregious how bad the one VX is. But I just I don't think it's just health regen. I don't think that like. Magic I think you might be right, but I think health regen is definitely like one of the biggest factors right now. It just makes it's no symptom, sense to have it. Symptom, not the cause. But it is the cause, because if you get hit by a Russian gamble, or, sorry, if you punish a Russian gamble on a 2v1 and he goes and bandages, the reason he did that gamble to begin with is because he had the bandage. That's the cause. So why can't you do that in Shiv? Because you couldn't heal as fast in Shiv. Mm. There's no and, bandage what in Shiv. and what are the other reasons? So in Shiv, health regen is like 
barely a factor. It's still a factor. It, it took a long time to start. Yeah. And it wasn't like Mordhau Hell Free Gem where the number just increases. Like, uh, a, like so a loading here's a, screen. Here's the thing, it, was, like, it was like a loading screen and shit. It, you'd get like a bit, like a bit would shoot up and then another bit would shoot up as well. Like it mm -hmm. was staged. It was really weird. Yeah. But the thing is, it did actually work. It took a long time to come into effect. And if you were moving around, like not standing still, it, it was really slow. So like, why is slow health regen good? Why, why do you want, even want slow health regen? Vanilla Stones here was a perfect example. If you heavy crossbow the king, the vanilla health regen is so slow that you can just heavy crossbow him again to death. Like you don't even have to do a melee fight for it. Like regen is still good. You still kind of need it for the specific things like that. But it just it's just too quick in Mordhau. It needs to be toned down a bit. And the chamber window... Wait, wait, so, 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 so again, just... how is slow health regen good in, let's say, Mordhau? How... Why would we want because, slow health regen? Because, because the it, cycling would happen less. Yeah. Right. It would happen zero with zero health regen. And again, there's many downsides to, to I, zero health regen. I don't think we've heard many. We've heard like the 2v2 argument of the noobs. I, what's another downside? The, the downside is that what I do many times, take it from me, right? I, I, I'm pretty confident in saying I've probably done more high level 1vx in Mortal than anyone else. Not just because of skill, but because of playtime as well. I've done so many high level 1vx in this game, it's not even funny. I can't even count. I would have no idea how many I've done, and I've been doing it over two years, right? And the amount of times I've took regen and gone in a 2v1 and won it is just like substantial. Like, I yeah. pretty much always take a bit of regen. But I, I, I just want to think about it through like, how are you able to take the regen? Like, are they both low as well? Because there's, because there's a map and they have to run across it. Right. And it can also, jump, jump. It can also be because they're low as well. But yeah. Like, yeah. And, and so if they're low as well, they're benefiting the most from the regen in that scenario. If anything, slowing down region will make this much worse for the one guy. Go on, why? What? Because if it's one VX, the X, they have way more time to region than the one. Yeah, but if you remove bandage, that's the main cause of all region. Well, also, bandage. the thing is, what I'm suggesting is we could slow down region for stam and health. We also, the, the game, we just need, like, you know, the attack someone who's in repost needs to have a bit of a lockout again. Yeah, I agree. Like, I don't think that's related to health regen, though. It is related to health regen because you've got no 1vx, so the problem is the only way you're going to win a 1vx is if both your enemies are on low health. Right now, you can only win a 1vx if both Ex Exactly. Exa that's, oh my god, that's perfect. And we'll get more of that low health if um, there's no regen. And that's not the issue of health regen, that's the issue because there's no fucking 1vx in the game. And you can't take down a good play with any speed at all because mm -hmm. the meta is attrition and chambers buffer the defense too much. Yeah, I, I can literally, sorry, I could not attack you in a duel, but I could, you can like basically choose how I want to lose the duel. I can go like, oh, I want to lose on stam, so I'll just chamber everything. And then you can be like, oh, I want to lose on health, so I'll just try and parry. Like that's, that's literally what it's like right now. You can just choose. You can be like, oh, well, I want to die by like stam, or do I want to die by health? And it's, if you want to die by health, you press RMB against an evening star, and if you want to die by stam, you input the same attack as the evening star, and faint to parry if it's a huge drag. Here's the thing, if we're actually kind of in agreement here, by agreeing to lower health regen, we're getting more to my ideal, no, a, which is we zero. Have a compromise, there's a difference. I, I, I agree, Stoutie. I Honestly, I, I agreed with you from the start, I think health regen could take a look at. I just don't think removing it is a solution. But I, like I said, I've agreed from the start, and we're both trying to tackle the same issue here. Which yeah, is great. but I... But I don't think removing health regen is the proper solution. I think nerfing it is legit as fuck. Maybe even disabling bandages in comp. Maybe even that. That could also be a solution. But yeah. the problem comes down to, because there's no bandages in comp shiv, so yeah. that's a big deal, right? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But the, the point comes down to is that removing health regen has a lot of negatives. I understand that you don't agree with my negatives, but I'm telling you that I, I agree with my negatives. Other people agree with my negatives, and I can speak from experience. I understand anecdotes aren't the best thing, but I'm in a pretty good place to go on. What are we gonna uh, do? If, uh, my biggest issue with this whole argument is we haven't heard many negatives. That's like the biggest thing for me. Like I've, I've, I've literally been giving you nonstop negative. Yeah, scenarios. but I, I, no, some, they're not that believable. Like for example, you say you can get a health regen off against two people that are full HP and they just don't press you. Like that just seems that's completely a fuck up by the team that didn't press you. Like it's a learn to play issue for them. That it's shouldn't happen. I've seen that. It's because when the, the second play on Giru's team is like trying to stay alive. That's Giru's regen time. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Uh, I lost my train of thought. But it, if his teammate's player. dead, right, so there's no one to even like stall, how is he getting a full regen off when they're both full HP? They've got no reason not to like pressure him straight away. 
How is he getting full re regen off there? How is he getting hit by noobs? Like at the start of the fight to put down to 1 HP? It's, 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 these don't feel very uh, solid arguments to me. But if we all agree to like lower health gen, I mean this is getting closer to the ideal. The problem's still there, and we're still going to see the problem in tournaments where one player is just like fuck it, I'm out, and he just goes and walks away. We're still going to see this, but it's going to be less yeah, but tag the team. The point is, if, if people like, especially in a duel, right? The reason why I like the health regen being lower in a duel is because if you don't punish instantly right now, and sometimes even if you do try and punish instantly, the guy still regens like 30 stam and 10 HP, and it's like really. Like, I'm literally, I didn't even make the decision. I, yeah. like, just baboon charge at him, but he still gets some regen off. It's so fast. And it yeah. wasn't like that in Shiv, and Shiv didn't really have this problem. I don't remember it. Uh, we're still going to see a bit of that there. with, like, Stam, because people always ignore, like, regen Stam, but it's just, like, it feels like, why should we give players the chance to get, like, an extra two hits to survive by successfully pulling off, like, a really good regen? What, should, that, also, should that ever be, like, a reward for backing away? With, Personally, I don't think so. With the backing off, especially where you just like one guy backs off and one guy chambers his to his heart's content. Yeah. Like with that, if the chamber window's nerfed, well, he has to. He can do that way less now. You like, don't even have to chamber though. Like, like if you just morph, drag, and then parry. And in fact, I think parrying might even be safer. I, I don't know. Oh, I yeah. have to think about that. But that's true. You can definitely. You can waste by, time by, so easily. By, like wasting time. And it's yeah. like, why not just watch two players run at him and show? But so also, what? You might lose. You might get tapped out because you're on one HP. But that's just going to be a lot better to watch than like people Another fucking walking around for a minute missing, like the yep. one miss one miss in mordhau costs 10 stamina on average right it's like 10 or 11 so that means technically what i could do is if some guy wants to parry because he wants to like beat me in this duel and he doesn't want to chamber all his stam away before my teammate comes back right i can just miss him right don't combo just miss once and then just miss again because i still have initiative if he parries and you can just do some of that, like, it, it's just too cheap. Yeah, it's I feel like this, this issue is, like, to do with missing, though. It's not to do with regen. Like, that's well, always, that's going to be cancer regardless of the regen yeah, but issue. but the point is, all these things make 1vx harder. Yeah, but I think just getting rid of regen is, like, the easiest thing to do. We can't get rid of how to get rid of misses. Like, that's not a solution. A solution you here... You have to make them more expensive. So we, we can, do that, as, do, we can well. do that as well, but then we get to, like, sort of silly territory where it's like, all right, you missed once, you're now, like, on 50 stam. Like, what... Well, no, but it's like even in a duel, look at Warax, man. Sometimes when I'm dueling Shelly, I miss. Like, I'm not trying to miss, I just like miss the very end of my drag. And yeah. then I hit him, and like occasionally it's just faster. And it's like, but it doesn't even cost me anything. It costs 10 or like 11 stab. Points, I that that should never happen, though. You should never be like, you can bait a hit with a miss and then follow up. That's just the fault of that. Yeah, but even exact... then, it's like sometimes I'll miss someone. And because my miss lets me stay like literally inside them, because holding S is slower than me holding W and shift. I can just like do some insider side hit, you know, just aim for the shoulder. Yeah. And it's like, and that's, it's like that, that's like another problem with the missing. It's like, it's not expensive. I have jewels with Mousy where I'm doing the biggest fucking drags and like I'll miss one, but then I'll just side hit him with the combo. 100%. That's, that shouldn't build. be in the game. But that's not an argument against healthy gen. Frank, Frank what, have you seen Monstery's idea where easy parry is its own parry off cooldown to normal parry? You seen no. That? No, no. What is it? So, so basically. Right, have you ever had it where you P you PIP, um, but like you parry both the attacks with the first parry, and then you just waste a parry, and then you just get fucked and shit like that. So the, the idea is is that if you PIP or chamber FTP, it actually gives you that parry is off cooldown to the other parry. Do you know what I mean? So you can almost spam parry in that one vx scenario in case of a miss. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's say health regen slow it down, slow it down now, uh, and like you go for a regen and a duel. Do you think that's gonna be like a better viewing experience if like it now takes like a minute for you to heal up i think that's going to be good for like the game yeah I, i'm fairly that's sure we could change. i'm fairly sure we could poll viewers and that'd be so like objectively well. wrong like i'm fairly sure nobody wants to see that what what did you say crush the only good change would be to slow down region while walking yeah that's that's what i was thinking you, you could add like hey standing still hp regen is faster and then walking hit but that doesn't fix the issue for jewels, right? Does it? Of course it does. Well, no, because like if the jewel guy, let's for the initial example where like you're put down to your the Jimmy example, right? Um, you're not gonna be able to back away then. Like they'll just you'll just get punished. So this is this stand still again. It's only gonna help the X players that can get away with standing if still. They, if they want to regen, they'll stand still. It's gonna be harder, but it's still an option for them because you could like full on turn tail and flee to out the area, and you can't even get switched on. And for you to punish that, you'd have to sprint down hard to chase that down and expose your back. So again, this is this is an option that p helps mitigate it, but it's always gonna favor the X, and it's not gonna help you in the duel scenario. Because, because you're in a one vx and there's no fucking one vx mechanics. That's the issue. 
Right, but they've got an XV1 mechanic as well on top of there being no 1VX. So if we get rid of the XV1 mechanic, then maybe we don't even need the 1VX mechanic. It's not an XV1 mechanic. It is. It's literally health regen. But in a 1VX, it is an XV1 mechanic because only the X can use it. That's undeniable. No, it's just it's just the mechanic that... Yeah, in that, in, yeah, in that scenario, it is... what it, it doesn't make it an XV1 mechanic. Well, it, essentially it is because you can't use it as the 1. Apart from the preludes, yeah, apart from the prelude, but prelude yeah, is but a that, net that negative. Yeah, that makes a fucking big difference, man, because I regen all the time in the prelude, and that allows me to fucking uh, win one vx. Yeah, but um, think about the amount of times where you they couldn't regen in the one vx, and suddenly you're winning a lot more due to them not being able to regen in the preludes. The prelude, the amount of situations where the yeah, prelude what, what, helps what the X they, more what, what than if it they helps do you. Have HP, though? What if they do have HP? Then I'm just fucked. You you fucked anyway because you couldn't regen because you should be getting pressured. Still, do you imagine this? And again, I, I've covered this as well. Wait, wait, let me crash. Let me just hit this. Both players having full. Let me, let me. I, I'll get it. But like, in um. Do you understand. Yeah, so the prelude, wait. for example, where you manage to back away. Say so they're both full HP. You get the perfect regen, right? You somehow back away. You go from one HP to full. They get nothing, right? In the fight itself, they still get to regen every time you tap them, and then they just delay, drag, morph. They, and I think that's, that's because that's because health regens too fast. The meta is attrition, so they can just waste time while one regens, and there's no one vx mechanics. That's the reason why. But I think the I, I don't know. No it seems, it seems regen, like you're dancing around the health regen issue. Then I don't get to regen at all, and then I just lose every time, every single time, which is even more fucked. Go on, Crush. What what do you say about Crush? You uh, you need to. Speak closer to your mic because it cut off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just imagine you could 1vx against two full HP enemies with 100 HP. There we that go. Pretty much fix the whole problem without any shitty region. We'd have to get rid of that trades way. for that. I mean, you need to add trades. No, sorry. Would the crush say, imagine if you could win 1vx as 1 HP? No, if you could win, uh, you're on full HP and the two enemies are on full HP. Imagine if you could win that. You s well, you'd be able to win that more without health regen. 100%. No, no, because they're on full HP. And you yeah, the exactly. But in the fight itself, they can use one. They can use regen to then, every time they get hit, they can use regen to get back to full, yeah. whereas you and can't use it. Again, again Stouty, that's because the meta is attrition, regen's too fast, and there's no 1vx mechanics. Because this wasn't an issue in Shiv. It wasn't an issue in Merc's mod. It wasn't an issue in comp mod. And those had faster Well, regen, just had I, I agree. Like, you could put it to shift values and the issue almost goes away. Yeah, but the point is to make the game so that uh, that scenario actually becomes more possible. So balancing uh, health regen and... Yeah, uh, one VX, just making it more viable. the game so it's irrelevant. P putting it down, putting the health regen down, again, it, like... It addresses the issue somewhat, but it doesn't solve the issue. You're still going to get these scenarios where people just wander off the map and like take two minute regens. And also, if you're in a duel, you should never encourage both players to stand around for minutes at a time. Like, and that's going to be it's going to happen, even if it's not the best thing to do. But both players decide that they want a full regen. You can have that several times in a single fight, and it's like this isn't good. You, you can make it so if some guy wanders across the map for a full regen, right? Let's say regen slower. If, so he has to like let's say go further, or he has to like not. Be anywhere near his teammate. Yeah, yeah, his then, teammate's more likely to lose. And and you nerf chamber window and stuff like that. Like he, the teammate can't just chamber; he actually has to like duel you and try and win. And if he doesn't win, well, then you've got the duel one v one. Yeah, you can regen for that too. So if that you but can, you in, can then back right, off so we, across the map, so you can take. An so actual do, do you honestly one. think that scenario you just painted there with all this regening and like backpedaling? Do you think that's honestly better than a two v one, which is just forced like fight where both players just run in? Like fight a really fierce two v one on low HP. Anything can happen. It's clutchable. You know anything. It, it could be a clutch. What we just just. I prefer. I prefer regening. But I don't know. I think that's subjective. That's like that's just if you don't prefer. Regening, I I honestly I can't I can't. So you say. I'm going to speak. Uh, it's going to be a bit anecdotal now. It's not the most solid thing. But I honestly think that's just straight out incorrect. Like if you ask more people, if I'm making Stouty Touch 11, whatever, do people want to watch two successive duels or do they want to watch me fight two people at the same time? I think most people are going to want, want to watch me watch uh, two people at the same time. That's more exciting to watch. That's cooler. That's what I want to do in this game anyway. Well, the point is... I don't want to do like fucking take turn yeah, duels. Yeah, kendo. If, right if now, right now game, it's Kendo. Right now it's fucking Kendo. I want if, fucking 2v1. And I agree, but if you change the game... To where it is not worth that guy walking across the map for the regen if that is a it, dangerous it, and 
The thing is, though, in some scenarios, it will be the best move. If you're the best duelist in the game, it's the best move for you to go take that health. And that's going to be true if always. Best, if you're the best duel, if, okay, so I'm one v 2 the best duelist in the game, yeah? No, so you're, you're one and one of them is shit and one of them is fighting. You're the best duelist and you're on one HP. It's best for you to regen and walk off at that point, right? Okay, so I'm the best duelist in the game in this scenario, yeah? One HP, yeah. And I'm one HP and I'm against two people, yeah? No, no, no. You're oh. against one person. Oh, okay. Your so teammate's low and one. you know he's like keen to throw. Like, you know he's just a thrower and he just takes three hits. So if you run into help, you know it's a good chance he's just going to die instantly and suddenly you're in a 1v1 on one HP. And your team, the guy you're fighting, he's definitely got more HP than you because he's just got health from kill as well. So that's a scenario that could happen if you run in and help, right? Yeah, but... So the alternative like... is you go heal and take full health and you basically have like a confirmed duel win because you're the best duelist in the game. Yeah, but the point is, one, that only... This is a scenario that only affects me, right? Since I'm the best duelist in the game. It affects the but, server, right? But... It's like you can Never just watching. get the game to a point where people will just take the one v two because that's better. Like people in Shiv, they just took the one v two most of the time. You would always take the one v two. Sometimes not. And no, in high level, you'd always take the one v two. Top level, you'd always take the one v two because it's better to help out your teammate. And yeah, if regions in the game, there is some time. Well, I don't know. Where, like, <laughs> I'm not sure that happened all the time. It's too. I don't think anyone can say for like I, any I'm certainty. Sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. One hundred percent. You can't be. It, it could have happened. It's, I'm sure it's. I remember doing it myself. So I used to, I used to balance the fucking game. I remember it clearly. Yeah, but oh, come on, you can't. There's not that much authority in that. Like, Crush is doing it now. Yeah, I'm just dreaming. Like but it, just because you balance the game, right, it's kind of like a false appeal to authority. Like, I I know for a fact that I myself would do this and it'd trigger my teammates. It might not have been the best move in my case, but if you honestly the best duelist, it could be the best move to do. Like, it can be. I don't know why it what, wouldn't be. What to, what, to let your teammate die and take the regen? Not necessarily let your teammate... Your, your teammate might still win. But yeah, you take the regen. Yeah, I, and like, I, like, like I said, sorry, I, I used to do that when my teammate was shit. Exactly. So you just said it didn't happen. Yeah, I said in high level, if my teammate wasn't shit, if my teammate was Frank or Double or Jino or anyone from my clan, I would always help them out because it was better to help them yeah, out. Yeah, that's the right decision. It doesn't matter if it's right or not. The fact is, it can happen where you walk away... And take a region. Whether or not it's the right decision, it can happen. So I'm saying let's make that impossible to happen by having no regen. And then instead then we just get no, we get the two v one. But again, I don't think we've seen that many issues. That's my that's what I keep coming back to. This is my main focus point. Like the issues aren't really issues. Like the two v two duel where I need health, I don't think that's a big issue. And we haven't heard much else either. This is like my we core argument. One. The two v two duel one. So the Jimmy example two, at the very two, start. Two v two is the only example that you've come up with. No, no, I'm saying that's the only example you have of where you think health regen uh, benefits clutch plays, where like your teammate's shit and you need to heal after like you you both win the duel at the same time and you like you want to heal or something. That's like the only uh, example we've heard of where health regen uh, helps a clutch. In Shiv. No, no, just in general, more how like if you got any more, we can like go over them now. But that's the the only one I recall hearing is like the. Because again, another one you said is like, you can somehow put off a full health regen when both of them are full HP, but I don't, I don't see how that, that can't happen often, and if it does, it's like, that's the it enemy's fault. Uh, can you, can you explain how you manage to do it? Do you like climb out the map, but like, how do they not punish you for backing away? If they're both full health, what incentive do they have to not just sprint you down? If they're both full health. And you're low, how do you pull off a regen? Because there's a space between you where you can regen. You can't always do it, but a lot of time you can. Regen's fast. Right, so most of the time, it's super reliant on the space, right? Yeah, but that happens all. That happens a lot because otherwise really? it'd just be a continuous fight. I, I don't think you get a full regen. It maybe you might, no, but look, I think yeah, that's super rare. Let me just wait one sec. Let me just address something. In your Twitch chat. Right, sorry, G. The the reason why this straw ball doesn't mean shit, man, is because one, Stoutish chat is gonna be stouty sided people, and two. I'm, I'm not about who wants to be right. I'm just about like battering out the arguments and like seeing like what makes sense. It's not about like who votes this. I honestly don't no, care. I, like if my I, chat I, all disagreed with me, I'd say the same shit as I'm saying now. Yeah, no, I 100 agree, but I'm addressing your chat because this, yeah. there is public opinion on this. Yeah, don't take the poll. I, I don't want people to like fucking take this poll as what's yeah. right. Because the thing is, when yeah, you when when I came in here, you're like everyone agrees that like, health regens uh, should, should be in the game. Like everyone agree, everyone disagrees with you, Stouty. So if I thought like that, I wouldn't be doing this right now. If that makes sense. It's not yeah, about how many people yeah, think yeah, you're right. It's about which that, the arguments. What do they? 
that, what that, makes that, sense. That, I, yeah, yeah, I hundred percent agree with you, Stanley. But like, they're, they're, the public has been brought to light with this. So yeah, we'll just just ignore it, man. Just ignore it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, it's, yeah. even you in know, this one example, what, like, I, wait, wait, I feel like I'm... You know yeah. what, Kadal? I am fucking anti-democracy because people don't know what's right, man. If, if, imagine if you got the fucking community to balance, like, certain games, man. It'd just be a fucking shit fest. People don't know what's right. You there was a balance council You'd end up with for Reddit Mercs. balance. There was a balance council for Mercs and Shiv, and it fell apart within, like, a year. So there you go. Democracy, yeah. smile. And yeah, it's not going to work, man. Comp here. We're trying to balance comp, aren't we? So just out yeah. of interest, do you think that that backing away, um, even if you pulled it off, and it's, again, this is a super rare example where you somehow back away, they sprint after you and still don't catch you fast enough for you to get a full regen. It's not It's not a super rare example. It, it pretty, I, ma yeah. I, managed to regen, I managed to regen one hit all the right. fucking time. I literally do it all the fucking time. I mean, the duel would have to be very split for that to happen, but it can happen, I guess. Well, con contraband's a fucking... I think it's the smallest map in the game and I can still do it. Not if the fight's in the middle. I feel I, like in that we did lose the TV two to double and Bob. I don't. I don't feel like that happened once. I don't know. I don't think it happened once in that. What do you mean? Like uh, in the, we did TV two right against uh double and Bob. Yeah, but how, no how, one how pulled off like a full back? regen where it's like you could back away with loads of time. Jeez. Yeah, but that's that's because that's because it's a super rare example. Yeah, but that's because the two v twos we did. It didn't split off into two duels. Where often two v twos do split off into two duels. It did occasionally, it but it's just the distance wasn't that big ever. And also, again, like it's, this isn't really like against your argument. I'm saying it's just an unlikely example because, like, what? Imagine the scenario. Like, what needs to happen is both duels need to be split and they need to end at exactly the same time. So again, that's like really faint criteria for this to ever be, ever like happen. Because it, it not only does it need to be split, wait. No, I'm confused as well now. How do you, how does that even, no, how can, no, it can't happen at all. If it's a 2v2, how do you back away? Because you should be in a duel, right? So you're mid-duel, how do you get a full back away? Because some, sometimes the other guy backs off as well. I, I don't know, that's their fault then. I don't feel like that's, uh, suited to do it. So let the guy switch and clear teammates. Wait, wait, so if, that, yeah, that's another yeah. point. Yeah, what, 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 if, point. what if you're like slightly winning that duel as well, right? You've taken some damage, oh, okay. you're slightly winning it, and he'll back off because of stam or yeah. something. Yeah, and then both players are regening, so it's like, I don't think regens really yeah, benefited the one you, there. You, because you've been hit, you can now regen another hit as yeah, well. Yeah, but I, that's I'd, I I'd say do. it's maybe not exponential, but I'm going to say exponential because like, it makes it easier. I think landing a hit as the one is exponentially harder than the two, right? So yeah, but, that health that he generates as the X is way more valuable than your health regen. And the only instance where that's not true regen. is that, that like one of the only one VIX mechanics we have is trade. So you, like, you actually do a lot of the time need some health to clutch. But again, I feel that's more of like an argument against trade than it is uh, the lack of health regen. But we can, we can just tweak health regen and 1VX and then we're literally like... We, we haven't uh, lost the mechanics. I, mean, I, I, I agree to an extent that it's going to help, but it's like, why even have it? I even have it if it's super slow. Well, what about playing frontline? What about playing? Well, this is for this is for LTS scum uh, competitive. Vanilla, vanilla All right, bang. I forgot. This this is the very specific role for one game mode. For the ranked game play. mode, yeah. So when you go into the yeah. main menu, it's super ranked, and ranked, there's not going to be a health regen. Well, like, at least at least for skirmish anyway. Vanilla balance needs to stay the same throughout because yeah. there's going to be playstyles which cater specifically to no health regen, aka spam vein with bastard Todd and then back off, which is going to be fucking cancer. So is that the only example is like uh, in duels, like if someone fucks you up for Bastard Sword, you, should, like, you want to be able to regen it. But it's going to be slow regen, so it's like, can you even do it at this point? Yeah. Maybe, but it's like, it's not going to be that good. You could, regen in a, you could regen in a shiv duel, but you just wouldn't get I, that much. I think at this but point... Get, uh, against, yeah. against like a Bastard Sword, you'd regen it, like, you could still regen like a stab. Yeah. You'd still regen it an yeah. LMB. It'd be like a tiny amount. Cool. The thing is, what, what that does is it always incentivizes players to back away and play like really boringly and like slow the duel down. And I, I think we should be uh, getting away... This is mainly for duels. Like duels, I don't care about regen that much, but my argument for like getting rid of it in there would be like again this is going to increase the time to kill considerably a lot of the time if both players decide to it's like man that tournament's fucked if you if there's a dual tournament where both players are like yeah this regen took a hit okay if they both think they're hot shit and they're like yeah let's get my health bar up what we're going to see is like five minute duel sometimes and that's not even an exaggeration we could get like a five minute duel depending on how many people how many regens they take and i think if we just get rid of the choice the incentive for them to back up we're going to get like a lot more interesting tv ones interesting dual tournaments that's go faster 
it's, I just think it's going to be all aboard better. Like, and I do it a lot myself where I'm uh, regening, and I'm like, why do I have to do this? Why is this the best move? Why am I backing away? And like, he doesn't like it because he's getting frustrated. It's like, oh, you're running away. I don't like it because I'm wasting like my time. I just want to fight. I don't want to regen, but regen is the best move, so I do it. And the, the, the tournament doesn't like it. This, the casting doesn't like it because like, what do you say? Uh, the viewers don't like it because it's a time waste. It's just bad all aboard. That's my view on it, anyway. I, honestly, with Joe's specifically, I just don't even know why we have Joe tournaments when it's like, they're just so shit. Like, they're just, uh, they're yeah, just so boring to cast in the first place. Yeah. But I think, yeah, yeah, definitely. So I, don't, I won't this, argue that. This guy, oh, we've got player one who's looking down at the ground and overheading. We've got <laughs> yeah. player two who's more fainting. And then, like, oh. And the thing player is, like, three, player one gambled it. And uh, now he's he's looking down at the ground and Ellen being again. A lot of this is like irrelevant because uh, most of what we do is five v five, and I don't think health regen really plays a part in that like very much at all. It, it does it does a bit, but it's not really like nowhere near level where you see two v two. All the time for one v x. Yeah. And also, like, eventually we'll have we'll have a mode like a good comp mode. Like frontline's just I mean obviously not to shit talk the devs, but it's trash in terms of comp. It's a great pub mode. Yeah. It's fun to play in pubs, but like for comp, it's just not there. If you look at that VIP Discord, Sally, the Venatus one, yeah, the mess. VIP channel, oh my god, there is a rule for everything. There's like a 50% rule on this, a 30% rule on that, a 12% rule on this, a fucking 1% rule on that, a 10% rule on All about this, simplification. A 15% rule on the other thing. It's a joke. Like, it's, and that's just, they're, they're literally forced to do that in some cases because it's just frontline. Otherwise, you'll just have six guys on a horse. Just a horse field tournament. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like we've set our points. I don't know if there's much more to say. We're going to go in circles otherwise. Well, horses have no regen. So... What do you think? Do you guys want to leave That's it there? Point. <laughs> Shut up, maybe. Could add a test console command for it? Yeah, we can add a console command yeah. for it. Yeah, there we go. Just disable the stamina. Fuck you. <laughs> can we all agree that's a bullshit argument? He, he says if we can't have health regen, why do we have stam regen? Like that's not a, like a good argument because you can't stam fight on zero stam. Me, All right, You're, you said it to me seriously at one point, so I don't know. I can't tell. Well, to, the thing is, the thing is, maybe it's not a completely retarded point because I can live with my stamina. Like I can just chamber things and like chamber faint to parry. Then you get disarmed on zero stam. Yeah, but what I mean is, is it's like so. Let's say I have no health regen, like just none, and then. What I do is it's like, all right, well, but I've got full stam, so I'll go chamber stouty. And my teammate, he can just regen his stam and come and chamber you too. As long as none of us take a hit. No, no, but like, Crush is saying honestly, he can't regen stam. It's, just, well, yeah, it's but, a dumb argument, so it's just not even going into it, man. That's good. what I mean. Like, if, if you didn't have health regen, people would still just back off and regen stam. Like, yeah, no, for sure. Just... The thing is, like, that's a lot less egregious than, all right, what's worse? Like, you it's have to, true. like, the fight with feints or, like, no, two extra hits, thing. yeah. The fight ends quicker, like yeah. because at the end of the day, you're not getting health. Yeah. But at the same time, it's still. still that's kind of my whole point. Like, I think if you constantly. retreat and successfully do like a full, full on, like you you run past a column, you break line of sight, so you don't get chase mechanic. Yeah, I think yeah, reward it. You get your stand bar back. I don't think you should get like an extra three hits or two hits of health. I think that's just way too far. And yeah, and then even in a dual tournament, like you literally could, you could just take. Yeah, it happened, man. <laughs> fucking Gary ran away from me and banned us. Like it'd still be people regen. Oh yeah, you can't. Yeah, I did that as well. Like yeah, that's cheese as well. It would probably be way more unfun to play if you couldn't regen your health after you just get like unreadably fainted by a bastard sword. But the thing is, up. like you can get out of like stam. You can dis you can disengage and like get your stam back without like being at risk of them getting their health back. If that makes sense. Because the stam regen kicks in a lot faster than health, so you can still cheese stam yeah. and not They're let like health. Ridiculously fast. We, I think we all agree there. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, like, if we just get rid of, you could, you could like really easily like please me just by making health regen shift levels, and then for all intents and purposes, for mostly it's gone. You'll just see a couple of times where people walk around, just like, and then I'll be like, probably shouldn't have that, but it's not a huge deal. But uh, yeah, if it was shift levels, I probably wouldn't be like making this argument at all because like you just wouldn't see as much. I just think it would be a shame where you'd ever see one player that's thinks it's a good idea to just back away and heal entirely because you just rob that player of a 2v1 the other player the clutch player because he doesn't get a 2v1 now he just gets a kendo that's my only issue with it but uh yeah, yeah even the stamp thing that i just said that just again goes back to chambers they're just so good like yeah. literally right now the window is big enough to the point where some guy can overhead you and you're playing longsword and you can just input super early and you'll still get the chamber when you're literally about to enter release and it's just unparryable because he dragged it, right? So he's dragged it. 
so you're not even on his screen because of the shitty 130 FOV. And then and, <laughs> and then you still get the chamber with the longsword, and you're literally like 20 frames from entering release, and then you just get insta-hit from it. It's disgusting. Same with Mesa. Mesa does the exact same shit. You just get chambers that are so late that they just don't even look like they should be possible. It looks awful. It feels yeah, awful. It might need chamber in. I, the other day, oh, no, sorry, the other day, I mean, technically yesterday, but I, this noob, right, I stabbed him, and he gambled so late and he did the most instant accidental chamber i've ever experienced in my life on like a 60 tick pub server yeah and we I, have a mechanic I, in the game where you accidentally hit players a hundred and thousand times better than you yeah, because you just yeah. implemented the same it, attack it was so instant i was like holy fuck i don't think i could parry i think that was beyond human reaction time how fast that chamber was i think if I did i've seen loads of them i wish i'd recorded some it's like literally 10 frames and it's like oh just, but you're not even looking at the guy. So by the time you look at him, you've been hit like twice already. And it's like, Jesus, why yeah, is it that the, big? The, the worst part about it is like, I, I stabbed at this this noob man and he just like, he didn't even care. He was just like, me stab as well. And he had a rapier. He, I know that he didn't try and chamber it, man, because he, he, there's no way he knows what a chamber is. And Imagine was, being the noob. Yeah, yeah, it was the most instant thing I've ever experienced in a, in a movie slasher game. Yeah, and then even for that noob, he probably thinks, oh, I should just do that more often. Just randomly stab and just hope by chamber. It's not even good, man. There's a reason I said to remove chambers, like, literally a year and a half ago, like, early on in Alpha. They just always seemed horrible to me. They just seemed horrible. Yeah, it's, it's not going to happen at this point in the game, though, is it? Yeah, right? but there's, there's no reason to remove them. They can be balanced, but it's just like, good God. Yeah. All right, let's call it there. I think we said everything. Yeah, okay, so, but I think coming off the back of this, guys, is actual solutions. Okay, there could be a console command to test it. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like command that's fine. where the Zabers to region. Yeah. And every time it would play region, usually it plays an audio file of Saudi <laughs> listing the argument. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but I think genuinely what could come off the back of this is that I think health regen could be slower um while walking and then add like when you stand still the health regen's faster i think that'd be cool personally i think that would actually add yeah. a bit to the game as well i think that could be cool it could it could even like give a little buff to pub archers as well because they'd see people stood still and just take shots at them and piss them off it, oh like yeah that. this is an archer buff too slowing down health regen uh, the amount of it is but it's like no one plays archer around 2v2 or 3v3 oh, God, yeah. the, no thing is, the thing archer. is the thing is look 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 even in frontline in NA, like they, they they play frontline every day. They do frontline pogs. They they I think they kind of like it, right? Like a lot more than we do. And and it, even they say to me like, yeah, no one plays archer. And it's just like even in frontline, they play camp too. It's the most open. It's literally archer heaven camp. But no one will play archer. Like it's literally better to just throw jabs. And it's like, and it <laughs> like health regen being slow would actually be a nice buff for archer. So, so everyone's literally. fine if this being on YouTube, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Double fine. Yeah, but just don't, just don't do any bullshit editing where you just make yourself look right. Oh, so I just do it raw, don't worry. You gonna do it raw, okay? Yeah. But, well, what was wrong with the editing in double one? Do you have an issue with that? I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, oh, didn't watch it. But, like I can, I can just imagine like. Not really. Well, I, I put in a few like TV one examples. You say you say something and then you edit it. And then it's just me going. Uh, no, no, I, I, I never uh, edited like the, the voice, like the audio. But what would happen? Like sometimes, like for example, if Rick says like, I never got caught cheating in shift. I just like put in a file of him admitting to cheating in shift. Just, just like I don't want people to like just bullshit through like that. But I never like chop your voice up to make. I like regen should be removed or something like that. I'm yeah, obviously think, not gonna do I think that. We've been talking for like over two hours. You're gonna put it raw two hours. <laughs> uh, we've not oh, been fuck, talking man. for two hours. I don't think. Yeah, it's not been that long. But people will probably want to watch it. Imagine like a deep fake of like a <laughs> conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's so perfect that literally you'd never know. Uh, all right, I was gonna make my closing statement. Uh, basically, I think we can simplify. I think we should always aim to simplify the game if it can help the issues, resolve the issues, rather than add more complex mechanics to uh, aid I, one I, VX. The, 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 wait, 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 before you carry on with that, yeah. the removing health regen doesn't solve the issue of the fact that there's no fucking one VX in the game. Well, I mean, let me let me close out, man, because we're just gonna go in a circle. But yeah, I think it would. I, well, I think objectively, you can see how often healthy gen uh, benefits the X, and I think there, um, there would, there there, there maybe maybe there's space for them to improve it, improve the odds for the one even further. But I think that's that's rather, uh, especially seeing as I still don't believe we've seen many examples of where 
uh, health regen benefits clutch plays or is it overall like a benefit for the game i don't i still don't think we've seen many examples if any Look at this dude. uh so my my argument is still is cut down things from the game get to like the raw <sighs> melee uh element of it and to see where the game stands uh before we start sort of adding more like complex mechanics that only activate in certain scenarios which is always going to be like a little bit scuffed such as uh hyper armor yeah that's basically my closing statement so. GG's.